nervous. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. We're back. Oh, wow. Welcome. Welcome back. How you doing? This song always gives me flashbacks. How you doing? Well, welcome. We're gonna do case two. Continue to case two. Is our wait for Godot over? You already know if you know this game. I don't. Uh, hi. We're Godot. Let's Godot. Uh, well, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, thanks for all the subs and hype train and stuff. I'll get caught up on that shortly. Where is he? Godot says we made him up. <laughs> Why is he on the box? Just an elaborate ruse. They went full Kojima with this one. Uh, Godot day. Let's fucking Godot. When's Wonder Woman showing up? Huh? How is? No one asks how he is. Only where and when he is. Is the T silent? I would assume so. I've only ever known Godot to be pronounced Godot. It was a bit the whole time. Damn it. The A fandom just made him up. Can anyone care to summarize the last 30 minutes of last stream? Uh, I'll do my best to summarize what happened so far in this case. But as of this moment, I don't remember a single goddamn thing that happened. Why Godot, right? Exactly. Um, but yeah, hope you're all having a good one. Um, I just, I'm gonna pronounce it Godot unless someone yells at me to pronounce it otherwise, but, you know, it's fine. It's not Unity. Mm -hmm. It was me! It was me! My god. Um... <laughs> Shiv sent me a waiting for Godot meme. Um... Hold on. Uh, no, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good, though. Only the real OGs will get this. Shiv sent me this gif and said, Vladimir and Estragon after arguing for two hours straight on a stage. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> Thank you, Shiv. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good, though. I don't think I pronounced Estragon right. I've never seen Waiting for Good, though. I just literally know the basic premise. Uh, what takes? And it's uh, Samuel Beckett, I think. I think. English major stay winning. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, anyway, I uh, hope you're all having a good one. Thanks for the, the bits and things. Theater nerds eating. I hope they're always eating. Stay fed and hydrated. Um, I did Lucky's Mall like in high school for some reason. That was a mistake. Hmm. What's wrong? Go dot, said the enthusiastic dog owner. Mm hmm It's got some real bear humor in it. Really? I mean, I like that. I like me humor. That's why I do it. Um, okay, good night, Shiv. Thanks for hanging. For swinging by. So back at regularly drove teenage Andre the Giant to school? I'm gonna fact check you on that. Really? Samuel Beckett, Andre the Giant. Did Samuel Beckett drive a young Andre Giant to school? Fact check from Snopes.com. Mixture of true and false. When he lived in the French town of Ussie Sur Marne? That can't be right. It's spelled like this. Ussie, Ussie Sir Marn. I mean, that's not how you pronounce it. Uh, in the 50s, Beck was one of the several adults who sometimes drove local children to school, including Andre and his siblings. He did not exclusively give rides to Andre. Pie rides were not necessary for Andre. He had grown too big for the local school bus. Damn. Beck did not form a special bond with Andre. Well, okay, I mean, that's... That's fine. That's not a mixture of true and false. That's true to what I assume. I didn't assume, oh, and he was like, Andre the Giant, you will be so big one day. You will be so strong and powerful. I see much in your future, young man. I just thought it's like, what a weird coincidence that their paths should cross, and that's apparently true. That's wild. Huh. In the town of Ussie. <laughs> Which is the worst part of all. That's literally true. How do you outgrow a bus? A uh, big kid? Literally him. Yeah. Hey, Zendo Cornell. Appreciate it. Using my birthday time to catch on the first VOD. Happy birthday! Hope you're having a good one. Thanks so much for swinging by and saying hi. Thank you. Andre too large for the school bus. He was giant. They met in us back in the USSY. <laughs> it's a different, very different song. Uh, birthday next week. Happy early birthday. Appreciate it. If I only smile. Yeah, don't lie. Just smile. Um, 
I should have brought more bags. Oh no. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, let me, let me, uh, uh, what are we doing? Um, I'm gonna play this video game. Um, I did want to mention, uh, uh, earlier this very day, I received, uh, the updated COVID booster. Uh, normally in the past when I've gotten them, I get them on days where I don't stream, and they usually take the next day off to recover, because they tend to kick my butt a bit. But I decided to throw, roll the dice, and see how I do <laughs> today. So, uh, if I start feeling poopy later, I might be like, I gotta go. <laughs> and not be necessarily because of the game. Just give me a heads up there. Um, but I got my I got my 5G updated. I'm up to like 8 or 9G now. Uh, it's really cool. I can shoot Wi-Fi signals from the tips of my fingers. And whenever I enter a room, light bulbs flicker. So that's kind of neat. Uh, but yeah. Watch me explode on stream, not clickbait. Bath and you pick you up on a skateboard? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 9G wireless. Yeah, I should be improving your signal just from watching the stream, so that's exciting. But no, uh, they, they are they are rolling out here in the States, so definitely recommend looking into that and getting one yourself. Um, not getting over COVID is no booster for me. Yeah, yeah. there's definitely a, a little bit of a bump up in cases right now, so stay safe out there. Wash your goddamn hands, you filthy animals. Wait and forget them. What 9G or the shots? Uh, COVID booster? Yeah. Stay hydrated, so how I live. Oh, yeah. It's also warm. Yeah, give it a schedule. Do it. Um, go wait till October with my flu shot. Yeah, I also got my flu shot last week, which is fine. Uh, the flu shot, I never get any kind of symptoms from, but every time I've gotten the COVID booster, I just kind of feel bleh a bit after. So, uh, but normally it's like the next day, so I'm probably going to be fine for today. I just figured I'd give y'all a heads up if I get four hours in the stream and I'm just like, I got I to gotta go home and lie down. <laughs> So, you know, I'm not just fucking dying. Uh, it's just the, the, the 10G taking root. Uh, bam. Getting both at once. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Thanks for the hydrate, Jolly Roger. Uh, you got your Corvid booster so I can become his bird. Hell yeah. Keep us posted how that's going. Nah, you'll be fine, chill. Just say hydrate. Get some soup. Mix my arm really slow next day. That's it. Yeah, definitely gives a bit of a... Huh. Anyway, uh, if I get horribly stumped right now, I'll be like, oh, man. Oh, man, guys. Oh, I'm really... Oh, I gotta go. It's like, Phoenix, what's 2 plus 2? I, I, guys, I gotta tap out. I gotta... Gotta go home and memorize the Game Facts walkthrough before next stream. Anyway, uh... You got your boobster. Watch a man die live on stream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh... It's such a jam. Uh, what happened in between streams? I'll tell you. Uh, I got a prime sub to the channel from, and I quote, this is their name, Chief Miles Edgeworth. So, uh, uh, does he become Chief of Police? Is that a spoiler? Uh, regardless, thank you, Chief Miles. Well, thanks for, enjoy the emotes. You can, you can, uh, the, the bar topsy report until I toss it back on a BTTV when we're done. Uh, enjoy. That's a combo Deep Space Nine reference? Oh, is it? Oh. That could be. He becomes Chief of Space! It's fun to make Godot emoticons. <laughs> Just three bars and a smiley face. That's good. Um, is Master Chief an actual master who can say? No, he's a Master Chief. It's a type of chief, I think. I don't get the reference. I don't know Star Trek. Uh, Blue Abomination 626 also resubbed in between streams for 26 months. So Blue Abomination 626 two six months. Thanks for that. That's kind of is too small in my stream preview. Hi, uh, uh five five leisure. Thank you for the very specific amount of a tip. That's kind of, and Miles O'Brien. Oh, that's his name. So my, why was it Miles O. Edgeworth? I guess Miles O. Edgeworth doesn't sound good. Hi, Happy Capster. Welcome. I was about to ask, perchance. Any beans? Good. Welcome. Hi. They love two men named... We love people named Miles in this house. You got Miles Edgeworth. You got Miles... Uh, oh, 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 whatever you just told me. We got uh, Miles Tails Prower. You got um, uh, uh, Miles Morales. Name a single Miles that sucks. It's impossible. Miles O'Brien, that's the one. You can't just say perchance. I love saying perchance. Perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. Love this track. Whenever this comes up on shuffle, I'm always like, yeah, that's my jam. It's called Fear with a PH. It's great. Uh, a mile? Miles, milesoles? Miles kilometers? Uh, uh, 
Don't need that. Don't need that. No, I don't need that either. Uh, no, wait, that's... Hold on, wait. Over to... Uh, wait, this? Uh... Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, in that case... Fuck it. What are we doing? Uh, I know a guy named Miles kills babies badman. He's cool. Oh, cool. Miles from Lost kind of suck. Oh. Miles Teller sucks. Oh. Okay. Miles is a coin toss of a name. Anyway, um, Herf, thanks for four years. Enjoy your key card. Frisky Dingus, thanks for 37 months. Shane is playing. Thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Thank you. It sure would be bad if I were to encounter some tribulations right about now. Just gonna take a big sip of this hot coffee. Dot, dot, dot. There's no tribulation. This is all we got is Amaya spin here. She's fine. You can't have any trials or tribulations when that's going on, so you're good. Okay, I'm coffee. 6 p.m. I'm about to meet Godot. This isn't good. Mm -mm. Miles Morales, Prower, Edgeworth. Esquire. Uh, Smash Man, thanks for 100 bits. I want to say this last time when Larry showed up, I but I fell asleep. No worries. Interesting how Larry went from being Phoenix's best friend and one of the most important people in his life to someone who he knows but wouldn't call him a friend. Quote, unquote. It's like being responsible for the worst moments of his childhood and knocked Larry down several pegs. Him being more of a creep this time around doesn't help matters either. Yeah, it definitely seems like they sidelined him from here's like a character from Phoenix's past into like, eh, he's just kind of a side gag character. Yeah. Personally, I don't really mind it because of how hard they sabotaged his character in this. I mean, I'd say sabotage. They reinfor they doubled down on his character and nudged him super far in a direction that I'm like, yeah, he just sucks now. He was like a charming asshole <laughs> or like oblivious schmuck uh, in the first game. And this time around, he's just, he's just kind of a womanizer who like hits on nine-year-old girls. And it's like, yeah, all right. Bye. Goodbye, Larry. I'm no longer interested in talking to you. Good day, sir. Uh, so, yeah. But I'd la rather Larry a lot. I would literally, at this point, rather have a lot of back. So, from lovable scumbag to just the perv. Yeah, it's just like, what what happened here? Yeah, it sucks. Anyway, does he know about Pearly? Yeah, he met her. Or he heard her on the phone? I don't remember exactly. I guess, I think he heard her over the phone was like, hey, who's that? And it's like, just, just... Calm down, Larry. Anyway. Do, 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 do. He turned into Quagmire. More like scary. Yeah. Uh, turn about for tomorrow. Thanks for two years. Enjoy your house key. Two years great that my anniversary is on an AA stream. Thank you so much. Quablo, thanks for five gifted subs. Heck. To uh, Nalina Laurel, Jackson Juniper, Pharaonox, Shrouds, and Volpesca. Welcome and welcome back. Enjoy the emotes. Gilly Spy, thanks for 11 months. I've been a gifted a sub 10 times now, and now I can do it myself. Bar love. Thanks for having such a wonderful community for playing one of my fave franchises. Thank you, Gilly. And, and shout outs to how generous this community is and continues to be. And uh, thanks so much for, for subbing. Really appreciate it. It's wild that you've had 10 months of gifted subs. That's nuts. So thank you. Um, Smash Wings for 83 bits. I went to GameStop to pick up Pikmin 1 plus 2. When I used my power-up rewards, I guess one of the new rewards is a $25 discount. I had a ton of points, so I used those vouchers. A big And I got the game, a big fat Snorlax plush, and some Jack Pacific Sonic figures, and basically got them for free. And still have some discounts left. Nice. Well done. Dragon's Jack gifted a sub to TigerTail22. For their six months, Joy Golden Key. Thank you, Dragon. Kai Tastrophe, thanks for 33 months. It's chat's favorite number, three. And it's three twice. The only number chat's gonna like more than that is three, three times. Vex Troy, thanks for seven months. Good, don't know. Oh, that kind of works. Pixel Kenjay, thanks for 31 months. Looking for some sort of engine to try developing a Vidya game on. Maybe watching Barry's Phoenix Strike stream will give me an idea. Hmm. I've got it. The, uh, 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 uh. I couldn't think of a single pun. I was like, surely there's a, a, a character whose name has Unity or Unreal or... Now I got nothing. No. I was trying to like, yes and, and be like, not good though, this other character, but I, I couldn't think of a single. We're off to a good start today. Uh, yeah, John Mono game. <laughs> oh, you remember John Mono behavior? From Ace Attorney 2? Oh, that guy's, that guy's real, gives me a hearty chuckle every time he's on screen. Uh, Microsoft Edgeworth, there you go. That's good. Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah. 
Yoon Itty, John Fox Engine, <laughs> Francesco RPG Maker, my favorite Ace of three. There you go. Uh, Ladyfish, thanks for three months. Enjoy your prime. Thanks for the prime. Enjoy your silver key. I'm about to get on a plane. I shall stay as long as I can. Hope you have a safe and boring flight. Uh, Ice Cold Clay, Coca-Cola, thanks for 15 months. Do you think Shutakumi stays in Japan because he too fears what he has created? Yeah, I do. Thank you. Alan Braddis Music gifted a sub to Quincy Maru for the year and a half of Very Mildly Chris Keltke. Low Light, thanks for 50 bits. More Ace Attorney. I want to say it's the last time he streamed, but I was working as a stage crew sub for a production of Noises Off. Didn't have time to ch come check in. We did Noises Off uh, when I was in high school. I was in it. I was, uh, uh... What the fuck was his name? The old guy who plays the thief in the play within the play. And it was great, because I got to break into a fake set every every night during the performance. I got to punch through treated glass. It was great. Uh, it's a fun show. Yeah, it's a weird one. Noises Off, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, because why would you unless you're a theater kid? It's a show, it's a play about a production putting on a play. Uh, Selsden, that's the one. It was like Selsden Mowbray? What's his last name? Something like that. It's been a million years. Um, so the first act is them in rehearsal learning the show and going through it with the director. And um, the entire set is showing backstage behind the show. So you're seeing like the plywood set. Then, the show that you're watching, in between Act 1 and Act 2, the entire stage flips around. Um, and then you see the actual set, and then you are watching a production of the show you saw in rehearsal in Act 1. And then Act 3, the stage is flipped again, and then you're back behind stage as the show is falling apart like a few weeks into its run. Uh, which is like a wild idea for a play, and it's very fun too. Did props? Yeah. It's also a technical nightmare, because the set needs to be able to spin. Uh... And it's fun. Anyway, uh, good times. God, I love theaters. Why? So why? Yeah, I love, I love, especially when it's like kind of meta like that. It's like watching a show about a show. But it's not about the show that, well, it is the show you're watching, but it was cool. Uh, do a speed. Uh, Smash Flicks for 100 bits. Adding to the hype train. Thank you. Also, busted my N64 controller for my Switch. Oh no. Uh, busted out. I missed a word. I thought you said you busted. You busted out. Your N64 controller. Didn't realize they switched the sound effects for the N64 menu with Mario 64 sound effects. Yeah. Yeah, that's since they added the N64 app. Uh, I think each app has its own little bleeps and bloops. Uh, play Banjo-Kazooie again. Give me fuzzy feelings. It's a good game. Bustin', 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 bustin'. We never did noise off. We did an older British comedy show called See How They Run. A lot of running in and out of closets and windows. Yeah, that sounds like a British show. <laughs> it's like the, the, like, biggest stereotype of, like, British comedy from the 60s. Running in and out of doors. <laughs> Hilarious! The epitome of comedy. I got so many bruises in that show from being dragged around. Oof. Yeah, sometimes it... Sometimes you're right, you got some collisions. Ah. But yeah, Noises Off the show gave me an idea for a game that I never, never ended up making, but I kind of drafted a concept for it, where it was a... Like, kind of a rhythm game. It was a show, it was a game about being an actor in a play that you don't know. So you'd have to hit your marks, which would be like shown on the stage. You'd have like a little stage, like a little 2D game. You could walk around on the stage. There's like an upstairs area. You could go there. You have to like hit your marks at the right time and say your lines. And there's like things you have to do to not fuck it up. Um, and uh, I never quite got out of just like thinking about it. And I'm probably not going to make that, but. Yeah, actor's nightmare. Yeah, <laughs> you're, just, you're just like, ah, shit. I don't know my lines. But then, as soon as it turned into, okay, but if you if you're wrong, if you're not the right place at the right time, you need to have contingencies for what the other characters do. If you're in the wrong place and say your thing, or if you're in the right place but s say the wrong thing, or if you miss everything, or what happens if you just stand in the middle of the stage and not do anything the whole show? And I'm like, I don't have the technical or I don't have the expertise or the time <laughs> to. to Draft a million possible scenarios for every permutation of you messing up. So, called ad lib. Yeah. Osu to Take a Wendon Theater Edition. Yeah, it could just be a binary pass fail and then. But I like it when it's like more soft failure. It's just like you're in the. Like, the, to me, the what would be fun about that kind of idea is messing up and then changing what the play is about because you just obstinately refuse to go by the stage directions. You're like, no! I'm gonna grab this fish from backstage and I'm a fisherman. It's like, yeah, I don't think that's possible. That's how my streams go. Can you floss? Of course. Is it even a video game if you can't floss in it? Uh, but anyway. 
What we're talking about? Dr. Verbs, thanks for 23 months. H. God, I love the letter H. Azamaji, thanks for 50 bits. I never understood how Phoenix and Larry could be friends. After seeing him again in that ridiculous sweater, I get it now. A friend of Larry Butt's 100% dressed like that. Yeah, Phoenix has just, you know, evolved. He's grown as a person. He's become more assured of his stupidity. Whereas Larry's just the same guy. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes childhood friends, you kind of diverge. It's natural. It's okay. Someone backstage said the name of the Scottish play, Macbeth. And on stage, a plastic cup was somehow replaced with a glass one, which then shattered when it was thrown on the ground, which is why it's supposed to be plastic. The other actor in the scene cut up his hands crawling across it, which were his stage directions. And another time someone fainted on stage. God damn. That's wild. Holy hell, that escalated quickly. Yeah, one of the things that was drilled into us doing theater in high school was the idea of the show must go on. Uh, if things go wrong, you just, like, fix it and move on. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's the profession. I mean, I wouldn't crawl through broken glass, personally. I would just change what I do for the sake of the... I mean, I don't know the context. Maybe you have to crawl, or else nothing makes sense, but, you know, get, go get a broom. That's just metal. That's what happened when Lincoln was shot. Did the show continue? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, computer bump will go out of capacity by 1%. Yeah, sure thing. Um, where's my filter? All right. Opacity up by 1%. Did that change anything? Uh, five leisure. Thanks for the $10 and one cent. I'd say why, but it is a palindrome and it's nice to look at. Uh, can you tell how happy I was? Can't tell you how happy I was when I saw you playing this game. I love this trilogy. Hope you're having fun despite the shenanigans. I'm here for the shenanigans. So, thank you. And thank you so much for the hammy plus a penny. Uh, happy Capster with the raid. Hello. Fourth day. Thanks for two years. Enjoy your house key. That's two years. Tears of fun times. Tears of confusing my IRL friends with random stream bits I pick up from you. Thanks for being great. Thank you, Ford. And um, I'm not going to apologize if I've corrupted your vocabulary. That's a feature. A nuclear sunset. Thanks for soup. Eat your soup, Larry. Our gentle Natsu also a soup. I'm hyped for some Ace Attorney soup. Sachima Bob, thanks for the prime. Hope you enjoy the emotes. We got a bunch of uh, Ace Attorney themed motes for the occasion. Nice. Thank you. Happy Caps, thanks for four months. Leaves miles of beans in wake on way to Vodland. Thanks for the raid. Hope you have a good rest of your day. MD Major, thanks for 61 months. Well, that's 50 bits. You forgot the most important part of noises off the sardines. The sardines. Smash Bay, thanks for 69 bits. What's your favorite palindrome? Mine's Go Hang a Slimy Emma Lasagna Hog. That's a good one. Uh, from, 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 I mean, I, I don't know if that's from something else. I know that from, uh, Weird Al's song about palindromes. Um, uh, that's a good one. I mean, growing up, it was always race car. Because you wouldn't think it's a palindrome. But then when you look at it, you're like, huh? That's a palindrome? Mr. Owl ate my metal worm. Oh, no. Taco Cat. Cigar tossing cans. Too tragic. So tragic. Taco Cat's good. Race car. Yeah. But you look at it, and you're like, wait, huh? It is the same forwards and backwards. Uh, thanks for the bits and resubs and everything, chat. Appreciate it. Um, okay, what... What happened... Okay. Trials and Tribulations. So, we, we had the first case, which was a flashback to five years ago. Ba, 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 ba. It's not four words, it's two words. Hi, Dan! How you doing, Dan? How you doing? Very backwards is also buried, the more you know. It's true. Um, and so we, we flash back to five years ago where we had a case with Mia, who was second case. So she was working a case six years ago, and then a attorney, a lawyer, was poisoned in the basement cafeteria by what's her face, who ended up being the the murder uh, the the murderer of the case. I already forgot her name. Doesn't matter. Dahlia! That's the one. Good old Dolly. Uh, so, so Dahlia, for reasons we still don't know, and I'm sure we'll come back to that, uh, decided to poison the man to death with a little poison bottle. And then she bumped into Phoenix, who was studying to be a lawyer, even though his major was art, uh, and was in the courthouse library. Because, like, is that a real thing? Um, and, uh, she bumped in and was like, hey, can you hold on to this poison necklace? And he's like, is this love? And she went, sure, champ. And then they went out for eight months. And he refused to ever take off the necklace, which was, uh, an important piece of evidence. So, um, he ate the empty bottle. That's later. So, fast forward, she starts going out with him, dumps her, at the time, current boyfriend, 
who made poison. I don't know if he made the poison for her or if it's just meant to be applied that she used his kit to make poison. Regardless, she used him to have access to supplies. Um, ball library is definitely a thing. In a courthouse, though? Like, in the courthouse. That's what I don't know about. Um, she used them to access poison. That's all that really matters. A very specific rare poison, which is why it's important. She stole chemicals. Gotcha. Po he did say poison was stolen. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. He didn't make it for her. He had no idea what she was doing. Um, so she gets close to this guy, steals poison from his lab because he's at school studying how to not make poison. But oops, we made some poison. Uh, and then this poison's man starts going out to, with Phoenix to be like, I need that necklace back. And then uh, eight months pass. Mia is traumatized by the lawyer being poisoned and is like, I'm not going to be a lawyer. Eight months is like, never mind. I'm going to come back to it. Takes the case of uh, Phoenix being accused of murdering the ex-boyfriend. Uh, who was electrocuted, and we basically figured out that Dahlia did it uh, because she needed to make sure that the truth didn't come out about her murdering that dude eight months ago. Um, yeah, the dude that Dahlia killed was... Oh, right, the lawyer who was killed was allegedly uh, Mia's boyfriend, right, um, who is a lawyer who they specified really likes coffee, and I'm like, I only know of one character in this franchise. I don't know. We only know one character in this franchise we haven't met yet. Who is associated strongly with coffee. So it could be coincidence. Maybe it's a red herring, right? We'll fucking see. Uh, but anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, so we, but there's like some hanging threads from that case. Why she wanted uh, this this lawyer killed. Why she went through such weird means to do it. Um, but there's a lot of chemicals want to kill you. Yeah, probably most. Uh, coffee's good, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like a, a lawyer who likes coffee. You mean all of them? Uh... So that sort of wrapped up that case. Uh, also, Mia was uh, assisted in the case by Grossberg, who she used to work for, and he was insufferable, and I hope we don't see him again in this goddamn video game. Uh, and now we've jumped back in uh, forward in time to after Ace Attorney 2, so we're back into the current timeline, I guess. Uh, Mia's dead, RIP. Uh, and we are Phoenix, and we've taken on a case to do what? What was it? It's, a, it's a, not a murder case, right? For the first time ever, it's not a murder case yet. I'm still kind of convinced that someone's gonna die at some point in this case. Um, but <laughs> uh, there was a, um, like a gallery type situation for artifacts from Mia and Maya in Pearl's hometown. Uh, and they had a fancy urn that Pearl broke in the last game, but she glued it back together and put some like pipe cleaners and glitter on it and was like, it's good as new. Um, and that was stolen by a masked criminal, the the Mask Damask, uh, Mask Star Damask. And so we are now defending a guy who claims to be Mask Damask, even though most evidence points to him being delusional and not actually being the thief who stole this artifact. Uh, even his wife is like, no, he's he's just out of his gourd. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, so we did a bunch of investigating and we don't know what's going on. Uh, and now we have to go to court because that's how this series works. You're like given 1% of the evidence and told to defend your client. So we need to figure out if he actually is Master Mask. He probably isn't, right? Just because of this game, we're the protagonist. Um, and he did do that cool thing with the last case last game, but I wouldn't expect him to do that again so soon like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's just a little guy. Yeah, he's just a guy. And it's his birthday. Um... The gayest straight couple so far. It's true. He's got Princess Leia hair. He's dressed up. He's like, I did it, but he's very soft-spoken. My opinion's a Dahlia so far. She sucks. She tried. She, she she murdered one. She murdered two dudes, and just uses people to commit more murder. As far as I know. So not a lot of redeemable qualities there. Um, IRL Roger and Jessica Rabbit. Damn, dude. Everybody here be real harsh on, uh, what the hell? I don't remember what his name was. Not Mask the Mask. Um, so that's great. You can fix her, sure. Desiree and Ron. Yeah, Ron. I bet his wife is the top when she show up. Yeah. Yeah, chat got really... Yeah, also Luke at me. You're right. There's an ace detective, Luke at me, who is uh, a very normal person in this franchise, and he claims to be the arch rival of Mask the Mask, he actually recovered his last uh, stolen artifact. So, um, don't know what's going on with that. 
I'm suspicious of Luke at me. Because he's like, oh yeah, I recovered the artifact, and then they gave me a reward. That was like 30% the value of the thing that they stole. And it's like, yeah, that's a pretty good way to earn some free money. If you steal a thing and then return it in a different disguise, so... I don't know. Knowing this, knowing Shu Takumi's brain, which I don't, but I know to expect the unexpected, um, it's probably something really stupid that I can't possibly predict. My current assumption is that um, Luke Atme is either directly involved with Master Mask or is literally Master Mask himself. Um, and that Ron just really likes him. I don't know if there's an ulterior motive, but think stupid. Yeah. Is Luke please gone? No, he shouldn't be gone. I would never. There he is. It's capital L, capital P. The caps matters for BTTV emotes. So, think crazy. Um, Master Mask is a space alien who is stealing artifacts to better understand humanity. He just wants to make a friend. There's my Shutakumi answer for that. Barthunk is gone. But Barthunk is back. Come on. I only have so many emote slots, chat. Come on. Got him one. <laughs> think crazier. Let's spoil the rest of the game, sorry. Uh, unnamed trans girl, thanks for 31 months. Just finished watching the Ghost Trick VOD. Speaking of insane Shoot Takumi writing, Ghost Trick. I don't know why, but the reveal, uh, uh, well, I'm not gonna read, uh, listen, if anyone hasn't seen Ghost Trick, there's some crazy reveals in there. But it made you cry when you played the game a few months ago. It's, it, it hit me pretty good. There's some very good moments in that game that was like, I mean, that's why we're here right now. I played Ghost Trick and went, shit. Maybe I need more Sh Shu Takumi in my life. And chat was like, yeah, we've been yelling at you at that, about that for years. It's good. Do we still need Autocry? I mean, I'm not going to replace Autocry with Bar Thunk. <laughs> While Bar Thunk is there. I only need one Thunk emote. I might replace some of the MGS4 emotes with other stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Angel River, thanks for 50 bits. Good news, guys. I found the half cap. Congrats. I hope you have a good coffee. Have some coffee dance. I laughed. I cried. I cried some more. Ghost Trick 2 1. That's me. You get any post case one, beginning case two. We're gonna go. Anyway, speaking of which, let's uh let's, let's get back into the, the video game. Um But uh we, my my uh, my assumption, my understanding, let me make sure that uh Yep. We got sound, baby. Um We still have crank it? Of course we have crank it. It's, uh, constantly in use. We have a lot of a bunch of yeah, lamp jam. There's a bunch of ghost trick moats. Um I should probably let Maya spin away. Um, but yeah, the the prosecuting attorney in this case um, is is implied to be the the best prosecutor in the Tri County area, uh, and it's not Miles because he's out of town. He's abroad again, probably dead for tax reasons. Uh, and so, uh, who could this mystery prosecutor be? Who 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 could it be that I'm waiting for? Who could it be waiting at my door? Bum, bum, bum. Go away. I don't have coffee around here no more. Um, so I'm, uh, yeah. Best prosecutor in not Japan. So long, Spin Maya. <laughs> so, uh, so it's, it's, it's all fine. And, uh, hope that, uh, it's all, uh, good. Um, uh, one, one sec, shit. I need a sec to reply to this text. So just, uh, here you go. Wh what's one more loop? Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, so long, gay lawyers. Me when streaming. Mhm. Mm okay. Anyway, uh, I waited for Guffman all this time, but I was waiting for supposed to be waiting for Godot. I can't believe it. Anyway, uh, Chad, are you ready to wait for Godot? Cause I'm ready to wait for Godot. It is October thirteenth, nine thirty-six a.m. Do you know where your coffee is? Lobby number four. Hey, Nick. What is it? Is something wrong? Nah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Why would she jump out immediately and be like, Nick, what's wrong? Nothing. Oh, look at this. I bought this mask de mask publicity photo. You bought that? Where? His theme is excellent. I also, there's something about, I know it's a DS game, but it's something about the GBA crunchy music that just, just hits me hard. Uh, great. 
B Bath, Bath texted me this possum at the beach. Anyway, um, it's very nostalgic. There's a specific crunching qu quality to the GBA that just gets me real good. Uh, you bought that? Where? I love Life Will Change. Really good song for a phantom thief. From the little tents in front of the courthouse, they have all sorts of things for sale. Tents in front of the- Hey, Universal, that's 175 bits. Thank you. Want to share some cool space news? The Osiris Rex has successfully brought samples from asteroid Bennu back to Earth. They're not collected, not yet known. Is that the, the little satellite thing that was like yeeting samples back to Earth? Or am I thinking of something else? It was like it was like slingshotting some shit back to Earth, and I was like, "How are they? How are we catching that? <laughs> what's the? What's? I didn't. All I saw was like we're throwing shit from an asteroid back to Earth, and I'm like, uh, I should probably learn more about that. Correct, kind of. Okay. Well, right. I'm glad it was a success. That's really cool. I love that shit. It's like a space gun, giant baseball glove. Mm -hmm. Mario Party game with the basket. Star of the movie Andromeda Strain. Oh, great. Well, then we're fine. <laughs> Andromeda Strain is a feel-good movie and a feel-good book. I never saw the movie. I read the book, and it gave me nightmares. <laughs> Fuck you, Michael Crichton. Uh, they have all sorts of things for sale. You know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. It's true. Okay, that's gonna be important in the court record. Like the one dude in Baltimore who sells the water in front of Otakon, the RE the tents. Mm-hmm. Not officially connected to the event. Come on, I'm guilty. Throw the book at me. Who's screaming like that? Michael Crichton in his ER. Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it. Yeah, I did. I should have had a Cinnabon for breakfast, but it doesn't look like things are gonna get any less ugly for you. Because I did it, I'm the criminal, me. Ugh, he's at it again. I sent the calling card to Lordly Taylor, I admit it. But you don't have the sacred urn, right? Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say, of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you... Yikes. Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty, so make sure they give me a guilty verdict, please! Oh, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, Desi, honey. Bonjour! Well, actually... It's... Uh, it's... Uh, au revoir. Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, n another... Another text from Bath. That's a quite, quite the expression on that little fella. I like that it fills up the whole screen. <laughs> Earth. He's got he's got like one one little scraggle tooth, just kind of sticking out there. It's pretty good. Cloud with a face. Yeah, that's a weird looking possum. Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at a time like this. You always speak French in a courtroom, or at least France. Leave it all to me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you. Um, uh, ha uh, Well, uh, you see, actually, the thief is uh, me. Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross with you. Oh, I'm a dead man. So why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. You're not staying for the... case? For the trial? I'm counting on you, Nikki boy. Good luck. Bye. Yeah. Desiree, pretty. <laughs> Chad is just having a time. <coughs> she has errands. That's it's fine. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is masked the mask or not. But there's only one thing I am sure of. He's got a hot wife. He doesn't have the sacred urn right now. Mr. Delight, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chat once again possessed by the spirit of Larry. October 13th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number six. Have we been in courtroom six? But there he is. Am I no longer waiting for Godot? Am I no longer waiting for Godot? Is that him? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, your honor. Who is he? What about the prosecution? Are you prepared to? What a stupid question. W what did you say? Fine, let me ask you then, your honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? 
But, but no, no, I, I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Huh? B who, who are you? I am Godot. Not the music I was expecting. Okay. Well, shit. Well, if we're done waiting for Godot... Then... Okay. This theme fucks. I... Seriously. Alright. We're done waiting for Godot. It may need a minute and a refresh. But I've added an emote to twitch.com. He's open source. Thank God. The fragrance of dark coffee. I am Godot. Legendary prosecutor, I've never lost a case. A Godot mo. Spam the possum spin sex time. <laughs> it's very good. <coughs> He's the one Detective Amy was talking about. You should go to the version uh, on turn about Jazz Soul. Copyright through after stream playing Discord. Thanks. That's very good. There he is. There's that emote. Polarish and Edgar got it. Second only the gumshoes theme. It's good. There he is. Barista emote real. There he is. He's he's hydrating. <coughs> he's the one Detective Amy was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? I so I, I I deleted bar sip to make room for him. Because I figured it's a similar kind of hydrate vibe. Ah! None. Visions of AAC and Bathmate. Yeah, it's all I see when I see him. What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. Hmm. Thanks for the hydrate. Um. Uh huh. N never? But you said you've never lost before. Exactly. I've never lost. I've never won before either. Oh, okay, so he's stupid. Okay, good. I was starting to worry. It had been three sentences since the Shu Takumi character was really dumb. So, I'm glad we're, we've righted the train back on the tracks. Quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of Redwoods begin their lives as mere saplings. I don't know what kind of voice to give him. Yes, but a mask in a court of law? Ha! Don't you know anything? It's my Google Glass. I'm checking my commute time home. It's his Am it's his Apple Vision Pro. <coughs> Fuck. Smooth jazz. This is smooth jazz. No matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our faces or over our hearts. Okay. Give him a little bit of an edge. Not the Vision Pro. <clears throat> He's got a toaster in his face. He's eating pop tarts. Thanks for the soup. Uh, this guy's the real deal, all right, Nick. Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? So we finally meet, Mr. Phoenix Trite. Huh? Nick, is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends. Uh, that call me Trite. We finished that thought. Just who is this masked man? Could he be Master Mask? What if he's Master Mask? I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Well then, uh, Prosecutor Gobo. It's not Gobo, it's Godo, Your Honor. Gobo! In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. Oh, what is it? Are you familiar with the saying a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? I wonder how much you can withstand before you and your case break in two. He's going Gobo on his GoPro. Well, well, then, let's hear from the first witness. It's time for coffee. Like in the theater? Uh, my name is... No one has asked for your name, witness. Er, the important thing is what you know. That's all. Start talking. We're listening. His sprites are epic. I mean... I've seen what Bath did with some of his sprites. Yes, sir! All right, witness. 
first, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the urn. Yes, sir. The smooth bear tone that belongs in a film noir? Hell yeah. I'm sorry in advance for your salary, gumshoe. Yeah. Master Mask's crimes. Master Mask is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. He's so confident he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card on to Lordly Taylor. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. That's why we're sure it was Mask Star the Mask, sir. It fits his M.O. to a T. But... That's it. That's all right. Hmm. So then the actual identity of this Master Mask is... Mr. Godot, you! <laughs> We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godot! Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. Now, I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, Your Honor. Oh, please, proceed. Why, why am I actually imagining he has a barista just off screen to the right with a little espresso machine? Sliding him down to him. Just really loudly fucking steaming milk. Very well. It's only coffee after all. Shutsukum is watching a lot of Twin Peaks. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Gumshoe making the coffee? He's running back and forth. Uh, another cup, sir. What, you can't be letting him slide this early in the trial. Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Only coffee. Psh, what? Speak up. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? As long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity, all we can do is show that it wasn't Master Mask who stole the urn. Can we prove that? Do we know that? All, all, the only thing that's weird uh, with the info we have so far is um, we have a uh, uh, the camera data that shows that there was only one instant where the camera detected someone going in or out from the sealed off part, uh, and they had the photo. Um, which shows him leaving with a box. And there's some kind of splatter of something. So it's like, no one went in, but a guy went out. So, that's the only thing so far that I'm like, huh? Hey? What? That don't make sense. So, Master Mask, the Master Thief versus First Star, has crimes to be six months ago. What do you mean about that? How do you, what, maybe he stole things before then, but you didn't know about it, gumshoe. Have you been involved in this investigation from the beginning? Yep. Yeah, nobody knows more about the thief than me, pal. I feel like Luke at me would have something to say about that. It's true. I'm a... Zvari. Author on thieves. Huh? And uh, he's written books about thieves? Have a go on, little lights. Thanks for hanging out. Bar Zvari. I, I think he probably meant to say authority. The fact that this guy can slip through even my fingers shows how good he is, pal. It's easy when those fingers happen to be butter fingers. Press him. Press him. So nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal. Except maybe for the thief's mom, that is. But isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? Hey, Jasmine. I work at Apple part-time while I study law, and it's currently launch period, and I'm suffering. Thanks so much for keeping me sane with the fun Ace Attorney streams. I hate the Vision Pro. <laughs> So you don't like Godot? Uh, yeah, because the, the new iPhone just came out. I hope it's not stupid insane for you. And uh, best of luck. And best of luck with the, the law stuff. That's cool. Barvari. Don't, you don't mean Detective Zvari, do you? Who is this person? Zvari? He sounds German. His name is Luke Atme, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made up such a silly name for him. What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that he did manage to retrieve the last item the thief stole. Oh, I see. It seems you're not the expert you claim to be. Yeah. It looks like the thief is playing with me even now. Hmm. Luke at me is Master Master's mother! You got it! No spoilers. He's so confident he sends his calling card before he commits the crime. Hold it. Yeah, you mean I think from Ace Attorney? Or are you, are you studying up to, to be a... a an official editor for the Ace Attorney Wiki. So you're going to law school? Yeah, his name's Luke Atme. <laughs> if you missed the last stream, yes. There is a detective, his name is Luke Atme. Uh, have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Of course I have. Except, the person in charge of the treasure exhibit 
never brought their card to the police. So I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. That's because Dick Vatney stopped Miss Andrews from taking it to the police. Was the calling card that Lordly Taylor received authentic? Well, all the cards have one common identifying feature, but we're not releasing that information to the general public. But you're absolutely certain this card is real? Gumshoe can't say it out loud, and I bet he's talking about Master Mask's emblem. Wait. They've made a point of saying that they, they aren't revealing the emblem to the public, so whenever a con card is dropped, they know it's authentic. So, how does Ron have memorabilia with his emblem? That doesn't, that doesn't make that doesn't make sense. How would he know what the emblem even looks like, even as a fan? Hmm. Thank you, chat. Hmm. What a curious conundrum. This was his fifth heist, as usual, he sent a card on to Lordly Taylor. What's, uh, what, what's... Fifth heist? I barely even know her, Gumshoe. Um, was it the Phantom Thieves again? Never see it coming. His fifth heist? And your fifth screw-up, huh? Damn, Phoenix! It's the masking from Mario 2. Oh, it's a shy guy. Objection, pal! You don't take it- You don't get to say objection, Gumshoe! It's my line! That ain't fair. Maybe you could say I screwed up four times. <laughs> but this last time wasn't my fault. I didn't know about the calling card this time. You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this detective, Gumshoe. I just want everyone here in the courtroom to know something. If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye. Call your local police right away, got me? Looks like he's really got it in for Detective Amy. Stay in your lane. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. Oh, Fanto. The other masked guy from Mario. That makes more sense. Art pieces? Like what, for example? Well, his first target was the famous Tear of Eminon. What's that? Some kind of especially salty teardrop? Uh, no, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Next was the crown of Bongora. You know, the thing you put on your head. After that was the left hand of Hades and the portrait of Magina, sir. Detective Atme retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned it to the museum. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have some underworld connections. Some of Mr. Delight doesn't look the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. Yeah, get him. That's why we're sure it was Master Mask. It fits his M.O. to a T. Uh, what, what's a mot, your honor? M.O.T. Modus operandi. T. Teddy. What do you mean when you say it fits his M.O. to a T? I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. I wish you would listen a little more closely, pal. First of all, there's the calling card. We're 100% certain it's authentic. Then there's the fact that he seemed to know all about the security system. And finally, his target was an art piece. These are all part of the thief's modus operandi. And so, since this robbery seems to fit all those conditions... That's right, it means that Master Mask is behind it. Nick, it definitely looks like it was Master Mask who stole the urn. There's no real evidence either way as to whether Ron Delight is Master Mask. But... Also, the urn hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. So even though we know it was Master Mask that did it, maybe for the time being I should try to show it wasn't Master Mask that did it. Okay, um... I'm an attorney, here's my badge? Uh... Hmm... We got that, got the calling card. The scared Lily Tail will be coming to purloin the most priceless work of art on display in your treasures of crane exhibit. Take good care of the speckled urn, won't you? Yeah, huh? Camera data. Aha! So Mr. Wright did it. The Shichishito. Which bopped. Right. That was the other bit from last time was that Luke at me was staking out the uh, the gallery and didn't see him go in because he bonked him on the head with the Shichishito. Which bent it. And at some point, the statue got moved as well. Um. Ba ba. Ba ba. Ba ba. Uh. The blackmail letter. Tell me, here's any of your villa. The final world comes and give me security. I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. 
You said it was a blue diamond, right? Bronze wallet, found a KB security. I don't know. Gonna just go ahead and save. Hmm. Hmm. Going back. Uh, shit. Is Detective Pikachu Game Freak's Ace Attorney? They wish. I wasn't super into Detective Pikachu. Like, I enjoyed streaming it, but I had no desire to finish it. I was like, that was fun. Anyway, back to other stuff. Um, He's a master thief that started his crime spree six months ago. He's so confident he sends his calling card before he even commits the crime. This is his fifth heist, and he sent a card on to Lordly Taylor. Yep. It all checks out. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. Can we argue that the urn's not very precious? I mean, the problem is it's on the poster. So, arguably, it is the most precious thing there. Hmm. That's why we're sure it was Mask the Mask. It fits his M.O. to a T. I don't know. There's no evidence either way as to whether Ron Delight is Master Mask. Uh, the owner hasn't shown up, even though we know it was Master Mask that did it. I should try to show it wasn't Master Mask that did it. The friends pronounced the star hiking. Yeah, I pronounced it. Emotuati. Ernt. Maybe Gumshoe did it. What do you say about his MO again? Um, there's a calling card. We're 100% certain it's authentic, so I could try to disprove the card being authentic. We he need he need he seemed to know all about the security system. I yeah, because he was able to get in, I guess. Although he still was on camera. You know what could have happened is whoever actually stole the urn is trying to frame Master the Mask? And that's why there's only the one photo of him leaving? Like, like, deleted the other... cameras? But then I don't know how I'd be able to... prove that? Uh, his story was all an art piece. <coughs> all part of the piece of was whenever I knew. Yeah. So that means he's behind it. Hmm. I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I just don't know what to do. Hmm. Yeah, meanwhile, Godot's just loudly slurping his coffee from across the courtroom. Um. Hmm. He searched his card six months ago. He sent his calling card before he even commits the crime. I mean, the card seems legit. I haven't seen anything about it that makes me sus of it. <clears throat> Smiling because I know the answer, right? He's usually sent a card to Lily Taylor. His parents always go up to the most precious star pieces. For sure, it was Massimus that spits his MO to a T. But what about the camera data? There's only one... Yeah. Objection. Nailed it. Got in one, baby! We're back! Mm-hmm. Ow. My lawyer. Yep. Anyway, uh... Fucking nailed it! Da, 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 da. Doo, doo. Supposedly priceless, but has no monetary value. Right. Look at the evidence. Um. They send a card. Only go after the most precious art pieces. Ye yeah, but this thing ain't worth shit. Objection. <laughs> Got it. Got it in what? First try, chap. Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little in that question is making me nervous. You said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. This supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. What do you mean? Nick, how can you say such a terrible thing? Uh, no, I, I meant from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Well, Prosecutor Godot, what is the value of that urn? The appraisers I spoke to said they couldn't attach a price to it. 
And I mean that in the worst sense. So in other words, it was not the kind of item that Mask the Mask would normally go after. Ah. This iron's a piece of shit! No offense, Maya. Mostly offense to Pearl. If I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright, you're saying the theft of the Sacred Urn was not the work of Master Mask. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Actually, I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Master Mask or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Godot? This coffee here, it's my own special blend. I call it Godot number 107. I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the acidity or the bitterness. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now, Mr. Trite. But, if you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Um, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it wasn't Master Mask that stole the urn, <coughs> Then it must be someone imitating Mask Damask's methods. A fake. A fake Damask? Fake Star Damask? That sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. Now, before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lordly Taylor that night was actually a fake. I like how often he gets a new mug. That's great. I thought, although I don't approve of Mr. Godot's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting for Godot. Looks like I'm gonna have to prove it. I need proof the person at Lonely Taylor that night was, in fact, fake Damask. Uh, I mean, look at him. I mean, just look at him. Godot! Prosecutor shrouded in mystery. Seems to know me somehow. Maybe he's a time-traveling phoenix from the future. No spoilers. Um, proof that he's a faker. Well, he's... Oh, yeah. In the clone card, he said most priceless work of art. Uh, take a look at this, Your Honor. Check it out. Take a look. Check it. Take, 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 take a look. I'm gonna slide this over across in a non-dramatic fashion. I'm gonna uh, 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 submit this into evidence and then slowly walk it across the courtroom to the bailiff, who's gonna hand it over to you. We're gonna continue to work in a very normal procedural sense, like in a courthouse. What's this evidence supposed to prove? Ha! Well, it proves someone here is a fake, all right? It proves that this lawyer is a fake. No, but I'm just reinforcing the bit that I already pointed out. These prosecutors sure know how to twist the knife. This is no time to be impressed. Think it over again. Damn it. When he stole the urn, his photo was taken, right? Who knows? Maybe there's something on there that shows he's a fake. That photo we got from at me. Are you ready yet, Mr. Wright? Uh... Okay. So, so here's the... Here's the publicity photo of him. He's got a big old dumb hat with, with a big old dumb feather coming out of it. He's got, like, a sun emblem around his chest. And just, like, a, a big ol' tassels on his shoulders. Big ol' smiling grin mask. Sure. And then... The... Security camera photo. He doesn't have the big ol' sun on his chest. God... Damn it! Alright, well... Hey, check this out. Look at this photograph! Look. Take... Hold... The proof is right here! In the pudding! Ooh, pudding. I hope it's banana pudding. No, your honor. This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. It was... 50... It was... It was 12.58 a.m.? So it is around... They said 1 a.m., right? That's when it happened. That's fine. Look at me. Hey, alien alien. Welcome back. If you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar about it. Phoenix's famous exclamation. Well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Use this pointer and show us what about this picture is so peculiar. He doesn't have the big old dumb sun right there. It's right here, of course. You mean Master Mask? I have here a piece of reference I would like the court to take a look at. 
Isn't that the publicity photo I bought this morning? Yeah. The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on his chest. A breach? Here, bailiff, get my steed. We need to retreat at once. A, a brooch, your honor. It's a sort of clasp for holding one's cape on. A clasp, eh? A uh, bailiff, fetch my donkey. I, I see now. This is past the mask in the security camera photo. Oh, he has no brooch. That brooch is the same as the emblem on, on Dimask's calling card and serves as his symbol. I thought the symbol was his mask, not the brooch, but... The thief that broke into Lordly Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words... This master mask is a fake. I've been fooled again. Brooch to brooch. I want the judge riding a horse, I know. It's true, undeniably true. He was probably also born in West Philadelphia. Detective Gumshoe, how could you have overlooked this? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I... Hey, now. If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me, too. Mr. Goodell, you deserve some blame in this, too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? The brooch you're talking about? Do you mean... this? Ah! Godot is the mask, the mask. That's Master Mask's brooch. Where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. It was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? He must mean that Ami Face statue. Why don't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away in my pocket. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. This guy's one cool customer. It's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? That friend of yours left pretty... Your, that friend of yours left pretty little hickeys on there, too. H hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. Huh? Why would you refer to fingerprints as hickeys? What? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch? Well, shit. Order in the court! Mr. Godot, let's see that brooch. I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Take good care of her. Hmm. She, I, I mean it, appears to have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. Who signed the cop to him? Uh, yeah, it's Gumshoe. That's, that's gonna be my head cannon. Gumshoe's the one running over there, making him a new cup and sliding it over. There must have been a sh big struggle that night at the crime scene. Uh-oh. Phoenix, we have a problem. The masked brooch added to the court record. Ha! You mess with Godot, you get the G-horns, and you get burned. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, he's been playing me like a violin. Like a damn viola. He's been playing me like a uh, like a small flute. He's been playing me... Well, Judge, I'm just about ready to call my next witness. Oh, uh, you done with me? But I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven your own incompetence. That's good enough. That doesn't sound good at all. This poor salary. Bailiff, bring the next witness into the courtroom. Finally time for the ace detective to make his appearance, huh? He ain't got a salary. Oh, God. There is. A gas violin time? Yeah. One second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. Shush! Silence! He he he, now I see it's all becoming clear. Oh, what's oh, clear? Zvari! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor. A coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? How did he know? Uh, well, yes, that's right. Ha, not bad. Not bad <laughs> Why is everyone impressed? You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Well, sir prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Atme, ace detective and rising star illuminating the heavens. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. 
They either be best friends or they tear each other's heads off. I have heard that on the nights of the crime, you are all alone in security detail. You have heard correctly. My specially made monocle is worth more than a hundred Detective Gumshoes. If Detective Gumshoe is worth anything, that is. Hmm. Why was this guy all by himself, anyway? There must be some reason, I'm sure of it. Hmm. He's so Zvari. Well then, tell us of this special monocle of your- what, what this special monocle of yours witnessed? What I witnessed? Hmm. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Mask Star the Mask, dancingly descended upon me. Dancingly? Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. He bonked me right here on my noggin. So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal. My specially made monocle never misses a thing. But it did miss this. However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. Yeah, that's how vision works, buddy. It only sees things that I see, and I don't see everything. But of course, that's only natural. I fail to see why the witness seems so proud of his performance that evening. Well, Sir Old Timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief, but of the King of Thieves, the Great Mask Star Damask, my arch enemy. That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Very well. Proceed with the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. It was approximately one o'clock in the morning, just after the date changed. So the only thing so far is that I know in the photo that we have of the, from the security camera, it says it's 0058 and 43 seconds. So, he's saying it was one o'clock in the morning, and then half an hour later was when he... Maybe that works out? If he bonked him on the head just before one, and then got in and out quickly, presumably that could have happened at 1 a.m. The date changed one hour before 1 a.m. Thanks, for hydrate. Actually, let me go back and press. I'm gonna press you on that and get more information, please, sir. Look at me. So that would be one o'clock in the morning of the 12th, correct? That's an impressive deduction, sir lawyer. Hmm, quite the formidable foe you may be in the future. You were on security duty that night. Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Near the computer, huh? So then you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it? Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. Yeah, he said the same thing yesterday, too. Gumshaw also said that he never saw him at the crime scene. Precisely. That is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I'd be putting pressure on the thief. Looks like the thief was the one applying pressure. On your pigeony head, that is. In any case... That's when my nemesis, Master Mask, dancingly descended upon me. Can you provide to the courtroom a play-by-play uh, a -play of how he dancingly descended? Dancingly descended? From where, exactly? Like, like Ned Flanders? From the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. Uh, so how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the thief's shadow while my ears listened for his footfalls. But even so, the dastardly criminal managed to sneak up on me. It can only be due to his sub subtly camouflaged cape and soft-soled shoes. I hear by W.A. stunts. Get him. Just as I began to turn, the coward shook a fierce blow upon my noble head. He menacingly moonwalked. You didn't see the criminal's face when that happened? Well, that's the difficult part. How should I put it? You, I saw his mask. That's all I. Uh, that's all that I can recall. Hmm. It's not very solid as far as testimony goes. However, fortunately, I have my third monocle, the security camera, at the ready. What's his second monocle? 
It captured his image perfectly. This should be sufficient, I believe. Mm, well, as long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have a problem with the photo? Good! Then let's continue with the testimony. <laughs> Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Oh. Attacked and knocked unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing? That's certainly some very impressive detective work. Huh. Well, Mr. Sir Lawyer, have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Yes, actually. Huh? Well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. And it gave me amnesia. And what happened? I was knocked out. And you lost your memory, too. You see, you have no right to look down on me then, do you? Have you also been concussed in nefarious means? Well then, we are like peas in a pod, sir, lawyer. The only reason I didn't lose my memory was because I have more brains to begin with. Sure. He may have brains, but the wiring to the self-reflection part seems to be severed. In any case, that was how I was knocked senseless. And then... He's got two brains. More brains than what? More brains than a fire extinguisher. Three minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. About this 30 minutes. My silver cord was loosened and my soul fled to the golden halls of Elysium. As usual, I have no idea what this guy's saying. I think he's saying that he was out cold. So, what happened during these 30 minutes? No one can say, Your Honor. That span of time has truly vanished into the ether. Just what is he going on about? There's something sus about Detective Amy. How could he not have noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. But that can't be right. It contradicts the evidence. Huh? Which piece? The real question is, why would he tell... Excuse me, such an obvious lie. Is the idea that if he was in the booth looking out at the gate, he would have seen him grab the sword. So, yeah. I mean, sure. Um, he descended upon me. He struck a blow up on my noble head. He swallowed me before I could... Oh, he's gone. He's my phone. So which line... Um... That's why now it says, Dancing descended upon me. Just to begin to turn the card, struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Probably this, because this is the line implying he couldn't have seen him coming. But then the question is... I I, I would assume the... The, the Shichishito? Is what I present? Look at this Shichishito. Great! I love being wrong. It's my favorite feeling in these games. Whoa, I'm a good lawyer. Cool. Y'all are look at it. Hmm. I only know many points with the judge. No, sure didn't. Uh, uh well. I mean, I was thinking I could also display, the, show, show the, the statue, but I mean, I could be on the wrong train of thought entirely. Um, but Phoenix is like, no, he should have seen him coming. This torn off some clothing. Yeah. Shot him striking a pose. There he is. Doo doo, doo doo, bong bong. None of this yet. Blackmail letter. Get my photo. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think I see it. Hmm. Can my wires run off once? I feel like we're not on that yet. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Move the night of the crime. And I could just try again with with this. That doesn't seem right. If the if the sword wasn't right, this doesn't, doesn't seem like this would be right. Oh, they changed. That's when he instantly descended upon me. As I began to turn, he shook fierce blood upon my noble head. And it was gone. And what did he say? He says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. That can't be right. It contradicts the evidence. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Um, 
Darn slow before I can land a single strike. He couldn't land a single strike, but then explain how the brooch was torn off. I got there, chat. I got there in the end. It took me a sec. Mr. At me. Could you take a look at this with that special monocle of yours? With your special eyes. It's the 5G. Yeah, it's the 5G. I'm blaming that. This belongs to the criminal mastermind. My arch nemesis, Master Mask. Zabari. <laughs> Thank you, chat. It is, in fact, uh, in point of fact, Master Mask's brooch. It was found on the floor of the basement's warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ah! Elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. Mm mm, nuh uh. Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off a piece of clothing. Ripped off? Aha! We can only deduce that the thief struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can think of. And there's only one person that was in a position to have had a struggle with the thief. And that person is you! Detective at me! Gah! He's sweaty now. Specialize, specialize, and specialize. Oh, hmm. Detective Atme, you must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime with no penalties. Continue. I know. Uh, Wait just a moment, sir, old timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home. He, 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 he. I just remembered, Your Honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with uh, so many cases lately. The true measure of a man is in the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? You talk too much. <laughs> Witness! So you're now saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on. That's quite enough, Your Honor. Excuse me? Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I look at me, agree completely. Total sibling energy. It's very good. Fight with the thief. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true! Bam! And that's all she wrote. So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Master Mask? Thank you, Weep. Yeah, flashing lights. Warning, y'all. Hopefully you know that by now, but it bears repeating. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. His third crime. Oh, he's saying that. Yeah, okay. It seems my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Just like Phoenix with the fire extinguisher. That's certainly understandable. I myself always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. That can't be good. Just shuffling papers. Which one was guilty? Oh, well, this one. Fight with the thief. It's true I looked away from the door for a brief, mo brief moment. Uh, uh France. France. Holy. Takes two to France. So why did you look away from the door anyway? In addition to the camera, I prepared a variety of other sensors as well. The alarm on one of those had gone off, so I'd gone to ch I had to check the data. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. Elegantly. So you were momentarily vulnerable when you were working on the computer. Having a flashing bear emo on the flashing light warning is a bit odd. I mean, fair play, but I don't think Barl executed. I mean, I'm not- I can't be the judge of that, since flashing lights don't usually bother me unless it's like... But, to me it's the difference between like a little thing kind of flickering every so often, than like the entire screen going all white. I think that's a degree of more intense, but... If people don't like Barl executed, let me know. Please, if you're like, yeah, I can't look at it. Uh, what should I do? Should I ask some more questions? Yeah! I need to remember to come back and ask about both. Don't let me forget, chat. I will forget. So, yeah, that, I tried to make it look like bzz, without being like rapid fire blinking. I feel like I struck a good balance, but again, let me know if it's not good for you. Um, but would be enough for you. That's good. Enough. It's also not bright yet. Just ask now. I mean, I should have asked when I first uploaded it. Fair. Uh, about the sensor. 
What kind of sensors are you talking about? There are other places in the basement that someone could enter and exit from. Not like zapping them. Good. That's what I hoped when I made it. There are air conditioner ducts, sewer pipes, and a cat door as well. You know, like, yeah. I hooked up heat detecting infrared and ultraviolet sensors to each of them. That's a lot of hardware. Was it all yours? The Lordly Taylor Department Store was kind enough to provide the monitoring hardware. Naturally, the security camera that took the photo belongs to them as well. In other words, he couldn't have rigged the equipment, huh? He, 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 he. Has that cleared up any doubts you had about me, Sir Lawyer? No. I'm going back. I'm only an hour behind on both the VOD and the stream. I have no idea this guy is. He showed up more. He showed up earlier than the last hour of the last VOD. What are you talking about? Actually, you know what? Take that back. Most of the first stream was the first case. It might have only been the last hour. It seems like I, it seems like he was around for way longer, but maybe it wasn't. Uh, he's a sussy bussy. He's a sussy little bussy. Uh, why'd you look away from the door anyway? Because I was elegantly walking over to the computer. Elegantly. Uh, about the computer. Finish watching the VOD at 2 people watching this. That sounds confusing. So did that computer belong to Lordly Taylor as well? Correct. Well, except for the program that manages the data. That was specially designed by me. Look at me. In that case, he could have easily manipulated the data. Thanks, Phoenix. Yeah. No, he's right. He he hoo hoo he hoo ha hoo hoo. What's wrong, sir lawyer? Nothing. It cannot be so easily discombobulated. Uh, your your honor, uh, can we refrain from using words with so many syllables in court? I do like the word discombobulated, though. Uh, what does that mean, discombobulated? Who's Bob? Why is he late? Young people these days, they really irritate me. You you zoomers and your emojis. Actually reminds me. The word emojis reminded me of a thing. So, remember how I started stream chat? This is a completely unrelated tangent. Uh, I started stream with the VVVVV soundtrack. And, um... I'm just gonna open up a, a, a incognito tab, just because I hate looking at what YouTube recommends when you're not logged in. It's bad. But, um... Just real quick, uh... Oh, chat's probably gonna explode a little bit on the side there. I started typing in V in the YouTube, and it just turns into nothing but emojis? And I don't know why that is. And I just thought I'd share because that was confusing to me. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. And I tried, like, googling that and searching that string of emojis, and nothing shows up. But also, VVVVV is not an autocomplete in there. They'd rather show a string of emojis, and I'm like... Huh? Sounds weird. Bots? Yeah, YouTube's haunted. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what were we talking about? Young people, right. I know the game of VVV, that's it. Well, that's what I was saying. I was playing the soundtrack to VVV at the start of stream. And I was searching it up on YouTube to play it. And that's what YouTube was like, did you mean this? And I'm like... No. I'm also getting the emoji lines. You are too? It's weird, right? I don't know. Well, because when I tried doing one of those emoji searches, it was all like videos for kids. It was all just like random, like, just like children YouTube channels. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck. It's like it, 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 emoji content. I'm like, okay. Hotel Transylvania and Baby Dance Coffin Dance Meme Parody. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. Toddlers have tablets. They sure do. Um, I guess the idea is anyone mashing the letter V is just key mashing. <laughs> uh, previously I was able to get VVVVV, the game, to show up on YouTube by typing it. Uh, oh. uh, they allow perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. Discombobulated is a good word. Don't let it die. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean anyway? Now I've forgotten. What was I saying? Jeez. Better than old people who forget what they were saying five seconds ago. Yeah. Imagine old people that forget what they were talking about five seconds ago. Wouldn't be me. Shum, get back to your horse, Judge. WWW is the Japanese version of all. Right. But also, searches are tailored to what YouTube assumes your language is, so. Yeah. Well, it looks like we've cleared that up. You can go on with your testimony. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed a weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. 
what do you mean by a weapon from the side? Naturally, the thief had no idea that I, Luke at me, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door of the warehouse. Sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the Shichishito. So the thief armed himself with a sword. What about yourself, witness? I... I'm not over the fact that this franchise has to translate all food into hamburgers and say, here we are in America. But then they're just like, no, 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 this sword is the Shichishito. And we're just, we're, not, we're just gonna, like, translate it from the Japanese. I would have no problem if the whole game was like that. Here we are in Hamburger. It's like, I would, I, my point is, I would expect them to not have translated Shichishito. And just be like, yeah, you know, it's like a ceremonial sword. Fancy sword. Something that fits in the character limit. Yeah, I don't know. Seven branch sword. They call it the seven sword. I don't know. Here we are in Hamburg, Germany. It gets worse from here. I... The thief armed himself with a sword, and what about yourself, witness? Americans don't understand Japanese food, but they do understand Japanese swords. Sure. A true gentleman fights only with his own fists, but they were not enough. Yeah. Did people 2005 get ramen in America? We had ramen in 2005. We also had sushi. We had all kinds of Japanese food. You had that much faith in your own fighting abilities? Ooh, jelly donuts. Nah. What's ramen? It's when men go rah, rah, sis, boom, ba. But of course, in college, I was the second in charge of the boxing club. You were vice president of the boxing club. That doesn't mean you're good at fighting. I'm sorry if I fail to find that appropriately impressive. However, my opponent in the ring this time was my arch nemesis, Mask the Mask. What's this sushi? You know, like a slushy? What you get at 7 Eleven? QVC sells katanas with dragons on the blade. We don't, of course, we know about whatever that sword name was. Yeah, don't worry about it. Sushi? Sushi. We had Mr. Noodles. Ramen wasn't invented until 2018. Well known fact. Oh, the more you know. I lived in the Midwest, so I didn't see it until like 2008. That's, you know, fair. Sush, sushi. Uh, assistant to the vice wrestling. Uh, this guy is a real piece of work. Anyway. Huh? Ramen bars for saying, well, yeah, I, w I would not say that a lot of Japanese food was extremely common and widespread. But it's not like it didn't exist before 28... Whatever. His first blow struck true. That's all she wrote. Murder, she wrote. So you're saying mask the mask was a lady? Can you tell us a little more about what happened? My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powerishous. Powerishous. I assumed the at-me fighting stance, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had bested me. What do I do now? Should I ask more about this? You were... At me fighting style? Peter being pocket bread. What is this at me fighting style? That's the name of your power metal band. I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say any more. But... I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way, no one can get behind you. That's it? That's the enemy fighting style? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? It's probably important because they got bonked on the back of the head, right? I'm gonna say it's waste time for now. I can come back to this. Atme was knocked senseless after all. I better ask him about something else instead. What do you think, Nick? Well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah, what is it? This Luke at me guy, he's definitely hiding something. But why? I think I'm starting to figure out what really happened that night. And about the true nature of this detective. Hmm. You can sit on bottom. Bottom. Kind of like diners in America? That's my understanding. Uh, yeah. There's one fist. First push of true. That's all she wrote. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. That's all she wrote. Tell us a little more about what happened. It was powerishous. Yeah, what were you blinded by, sir? Blinded by the light. What was this flash of light that blinded you? I was bathed in a golden light that seemed to come from the statue of the woman. The 
The statue of Ami Faye, I'm guessing. Well, that wasn't very much help at all. Wait, huh? Why would the statue pre be, be real bright? Like, if it was reflecting light, then where did that light come from? Uh... So well for Captain to get confident in retaining the Japanese flair of the titles. Mm -hmm. And now we have Monster Hunter Rise that's filled with, like, yokai-inspired monsters. Hey, Monster Hunter now sucks. <laughs> it doesn't suck. Two-second tangent. I, I've been playing Monster Hunter now on and off, which is their Pokemon Go, but Monster Hunter. And um, they had their first ever event this weekend where they, they spawned in a bunch of Diablos uh, in the sandy regions, in the deserts. Um, the problem is... The game only just came out, like, last week. I know that there was a beta period, and I don't know if progress can't carry it over. I have no idea. But I only got the game right when it came out. Shortly after it came out. I'm fighting two-star level monsters, and the Diablos that spawn in are five-star as part of the event. So it's not... I never really did any Pokemon Go events. My understanding was the events of Pokemon Go were like, hey, there's increased spawn rates for these monsters, or, like, this monster or whatever. And you can go out and throw some Pokeballs at it, try to catch them. Sure. You literally can't kill a monster that's that much more powerful than you. Your gear is not strong enough. It one I found one and I it one shot me and I healed up with a potion and then I fucking ran out of time. I got him halfway down in the time limit they give you and you can't extend the timer. So it's just like great event, Niantic. The only people that possibly are strong enough are people that have done nothing but play Monster and are now every second since it came out. It feels like a very exclusionary event to host so soon after launch. It's not like an exciting, like, hey, download the game today, there's Diablos out there. It's like, no, you're gonna get stepped on and die. It's like, who is this event for? It's weird. It <laughs> sounds like Nantic. Yeah, maybe. So, Nantic stay losing. I mean, the game itself is okay. I, I'm not I'm not hating on the game. It's, it's better than I thought it would be, and I had very low expectations. Like, the, the way they've made the combat actually fit a mobile device actually works pretty well. It, so far, is not aggressively monetized. It's actually pretty decently just you can play the game for free. Uh, but yeah, it's a Dandori issue, really. I was just like, what? what is the point of this event? They, I literally saw a black Diablo spawn in at five star, and I'm like, why is this in the game right now? That's terrifying. Made for a community thing? Sure, I understand if maybe you're meant to get like four people together. But, like, even four people, I feel like you would all just cart. you just tap you and you're all dead. But. That's fair, I was doing it by myself. You're allowed that you can play with more people, so maybe shame on me for not having friends local that would play Monster Hunter now with me. It's on the skill issue. Anyway. And my dyslexic literally thought it was Niantic. It is Niantic. Yeah. But anyway, that's enough. Uh, first blow struck true, bam, that's all she wrote. Uh, let's go back to this. Dandori issue is from Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4 introduces, there's a Japanese word, Dandori, that refers to the concept of, in Pikmin especially, the idea is using time and resources efficiently to produce a certain goal. So in Pikmin, it's like splitting up your Pikmin, knowing which Pikmin to grab, and like tackling a bunch of challenges within a certain day. Um, and in the Dandori challenges in Pikmin 4, it's all about having like a time constraint or whatever, trying to do a lot of stuff in a set amount of time. So it's about planning, uh, basically. So... That gave rise to the meme Dandori issue. If you're struggling in Pikmin 4, it's a Dandori issue. It's basically skill issue, but Pikmin flavored. Uh, what happened? Yeah, anyway. Um, is it important that his back was to the wall? I feel like probably. I feel like it was probably important. But he said he got bonked on the back of the head, but that's when he was like, oh, that was from the el earlier situation, you know? So I'm like, is it? Is it important to what he's talking about right now? Pikmin flavored skill issue. Not enough syllables. Um, Dan Jones issue. I was watching Dan play a bit of Pikmin too. It was a very fun time. He he was he was talking shit on Louie, which is uh, fair and correct. Um, and then I was like, Dan, can I share um, a one second YouTube video in your Twitch in your Twitch chat? And he was like, Yeah, sure, go for it. Um, so, uh, I was like, here's, here's the link to this, uh, one second, uh, YouTube video, um, and, and this is it, um, uh, uh, uh let me turn down the, the game so you can, you can hear it, it's one second long, 
Um, Louis, Louis. Shit, I put on loop by mistake. Um, it's it's Louis saying Louis. Louis. From Pikmin 2. And then uh, Dan banned me. And now I'm sitting here like, I mean, new alert? Come on. My favorite comment on this upload is, um, uh, where is it? Uh, um, um, uh, shit. He was higher up before. Yeah, this person says, uh, I swear he gets louder when I loop the video. Hey, Dan. It's coming from inside the house. It's like it's like the um it's like the the motion detector in Alien. It's just it's just it's Sigourney Weaver an event. With this. Where is he? He's behind me, isn't he? I had to run back over the computer to yell at you. <laughs> Listen, Dan, I hate Louie as much as the next gamer, but you can't deny this is a really good dot wav of someone saying Louie. Louie. It's pretty good. That would be a Half-Life alarm sound if it was a SNES game? Louie. Can we get a slow Louie? Oh, sure. Uh, gladly. Louie. How about two times speed? Louie. Louie. No. Oh. Louie. Lou Sloan, uh, anyway, or, uh, 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 hey, well, the 500 bits, Sonic Wolf, that's very generous. Uh, went back and found your near and Kingdom Hearts lore videos in the Chaos Clears. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is what it's like to have psychosis, correct? I'm trying to eat, sorry. Can we get Megalovania, Louie? Lou, Lou, Louie. Uh, what about the testimony? It was very important. It, right? We've learned a detective's secret technique, after all. Shit, it wasn't important, was it? Yes, indeed. I'll remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone late at night. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out! Now then, witness! We'll go ahead and add that secret information to your official testimony. Oh. Okay. I put my back to the wall to fight, but the thief's blow landed upon my third eye. Louis Lu sped up enough is the boo laughing sound in Mario 64. Mm hmm I did a pull redeem. Jake and Bacon. Hey, Weeb, you around? Or any mod? Do a pull. His bottle? You correct. Where is this third eye you're talking about? Oh, it's right between my right and left eyebrows. Thanks, Weeb. Boo Earns. I was saying Louie Earns. It's quite invisible to the unenlightened. You may call it the forehead if you like. Why'd you just say that in the first place? Sir Lawyer, it looks like the creases in your own forehead are getting deeper. So Mr. Hammy got hit on the forehead then. That's what he says. Hmm, I got a funny feeling about that. Actually, so do I. But what do you think, Nick? Well, there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of now. Yeah, what is it? Look at me, he's hiding something. Right, okay. So what does him getting bonked on the forehead change? Um, shit, damn it. I don't see a pull, probably still working on it. This dude is a forehead. There it is. Is Louis a menace? Yes? No. Make sure you vote. Thank you, Weeb. Yeah, and for with a giant middle, sir, you probably have a concussion or be dead. Well, he was knocked out for like half an hour, so yeah. Mild brain damage. Before he was bonked on the head, he was just a normal salary man. It's tragic, really. Uh, they were not enough. I put my back to the wall to fight. Might as well safety save now that I'm already at half health this early in the trial. It's going really well. But you know, just in case. He's been consistently been messing every game he's in. Yeah. He's a bastard. Uh he's a bastard man. Someone said in dance chat. Yeah, right, hold on, let me save. I'm bad at the game. Um burr, 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 burr. Not that. So we grab that. Um, the urn, calling card, the camera data. She 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 though. The mask knocked Abby out during the crime with a blow to the back of the head. Is that meant to be a contradiction? I call him out on, or I? Because now I'm confused. Because I thought he was saying, "Oh, I got knocked out from the from behind during the second case or whatever." So the mock looks so stupid. It's a magnifying glass. He's like Frog Detective, for real. 
I point out weaker arguments. I just, I, I mean, it's something. I just don't know if it's gonna be like, no, that's wrong, because we've already established that that was a different time. Just wanna see if there's anything else that would impact him being hit on the forehead. Uh, not that, not that, not that. Okay, fuck it, I guess it's that. Some brooch. Um, is this right, or should I be loading my save again, Your Honor? Because I don't... I don't know. A frog detective case? Oh. 82% of chat said yes, Louisa Menace. Hey, 18% of chat, have you... You should go play, play Pikmin 2, 3, or 4. And then come back to me about Louis not being a menace. Is Louis a menace? Objection. He's a menace. Detective Admin, your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun this is, Sir Lawyer. It's truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. 3-4 just hammered the nail in the coffin. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlets at my armored feet. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No! The coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere, somewhere besides the door. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. I voted yes based solely on the one on one Tumblr blog I follow, and I know I'm right. Yeah, he's a menace. Don't spoil anything for Pikmin. Don't spoil anything for anything. Just don't talk about things. Just diddles. Just post, just post the silly emotes in the chat. Why would you try to have a conversation? And engage each other in a spirited conversation about pop culture and video games. Uh, from behind, huh? I mean, legitimately, you could join the Discord and hop into game talk and... We still ask you mark spoilers for stuff that's recent, but you'd be like, hey, I want to talk about, I want to talk about Louis being a bastard man. But just now you testified that he struck you on the head, on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Guy, it seems I've made another mistake. Nuh-uh. There's also Meme Parlor, where the most in-depth conversation in the server happens. Despite a slow mode. Uh, that's not the only strange part of your testimony. And what do you mean by that? Some Pikmin are red, I think. Last night in Dan's stream, people were like, which Pikmin would be the most delicious? Well, first the, qu the question was, would you eat a Pikmin? And then it kind of devolved from there into which one would you eat? And then what would they... And Dan said eating one would be like biting into a potato. It was, it was, it was a bad time. It was rough. It was pretty rough. I, I, I agreed with, uh, I think it was Gamer DLM was in the chat. We were both like, yeah, you bite into him and it would kind of like pop like a gusher. If you ever had that candy. Um, sorry, Tom Flory. Pikmin or little guys. Enjoy your time out. Well, we beat me to it. They are root veggies. That's true. They look like carrots, but they're, yeah, they're, yeah. Speaking of biting into a potato. Probably would be tasty. I don't want to think about it. You're welcome. Those bulbs seem like like the way they eat, right? The way they taste. The industry in Pikmin 2 is a gift that keeps like, it is a great time. Uh, for example, the very fact that you hid the calling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. Yeah, geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. Objection. That's his ob objection. To err is human, to forgive divine. Humans aren't machines, they have souls, feelings. They live, they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Objection. Hey, hold on, it's not as pretty as that. Whoa, really? What's it like then? That was some dark, dark coffee. He really does take it black. Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. A riddle. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Well, it tastes like Gushers, like a carrot on the inside. Like a carrot flavored Gusher. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that. Mr. Atme is no East Detective. This Mr. Atme is a fake. Mr. Atme is Mask to Mask. Oh. Oh no! Time out, Your Honor. Recess? Gushers but filled with V8? <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> um, um, 
This is the dumbest one that makes me the most happy. Is if Mr. Atme is masked the mask. So I'm gonna pick this one. The answer is Shrimple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Luke Atme's true identity is actually Master Mask. Yeah! Order in the corner. Mr. Right, what is the meaning of this? There are too many unnatural parts to Mr. Atme's story. Hey, guess what? That was right. I mean, I, I literally said earlier that, that that's what, one, of, one of the things I was sus of and thought could be a possibility. Written by Shu Takumi. The fact that he was like, yeah, I got rewarded for turning in the, the thing. It was just like, yeah. So you have an ulterior motive in all this happening. So. The Japanese version of this game, Gido Sedeki Kamiya. <laughs> he says he was hiding at the crime scene, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. There's a lot of detail. That's the thing. That's why this is interesting, is it's like, you know there's a lot of case left. And there's, we don't know a lot. That's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely elegant deduction. I picked up crews that the police overlooked in order to arrive. Hold on. Hold on. What if, what if this is also wrong and he's not masked the mask? Because how could he fit that schnoz in the mask? He would need to have a nose hole or something. Unless maybe it's like smooshed down. You know, like this? Like a Squidward? Maybe, never mind. Maybe it's fine. Don't like the nose sweat? What's wrong with the nose sweat? You never perspire off the tip of your nose? Schnoz the mask. I thought that the other day. Mm hmm I cracked the case. It's a fake nose. Shit. I picked up crews that the police overlooked in order to arrive at the... Nuh-uh. Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective At Me. The truth is that you are, in fact, Mask Star to Mask. <laughs> I like that sprite of him. Shock pose. But, Mr. Wright, this photo clearly shows Mask to Mask. The security camera belongs to the Lordly Taylor Department Store. He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed as the thief and stole the urn. And then deleted the evidence of him going in. Yeah. That explains. So the ace detective is actually an ace thief. Is this true, witness? Aha. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, now that, that's some sprite work. The mask demo is pure genius, and so am I. Look at me, ace detective. You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I am impressed, sir lawyer. What? Witness, you, you're admitting it? Nick, now he chains. Yes, time to put the last nail on this guy's coffin. Detective at me, when you assume the thief's Objection. identity. Godot blend number 102, my personal favorite. Mr. Godot! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. But Mr. Godot, Mr. Wright has made some very strong points and... I believe he is receiving... incredibly damaging burns... at present. I'll allow it. I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth, but it is, in fact, nothing more than a patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. It's a cold brew. Okay. Mr. Wright, don't just stand there! This court would like to see this decisive proof you have. Quickly! Uh-uh. I do wish Phoenix had a sprite of just, like, wiping his face clear. Uh, what's the big rush? Are you alright, Nick? Amy looks pretty rattled right now. I'd like to finish this right now if I can. Can I really do it? One of the best in the series. 
I don't know if it personally tops for me Phoenix getting pecked in the face by a bird. By a uh, Acro's bird. That might be my personal favorite moment of this entire franchise so far, but... I mean, to be fair, I also knew that he got splashed in the face because that's one of the things that Bath used in their, their Ace Attorney video, but it was good. Throwing the fo yeah, throwing the phones up there too. It's good. Um, the sites of evidence that proves that Luke at me is in fact Master Mask. Yeah, you know. Oops. Yeah, sure. Oh, hold on. Yep. Hold on. Yeah. No, I know. I know the answer. Yeah, friends. Yeah, I, I, I I'm glad, honestly that the judge was fine with him throwing coffee across the courthouse. Because it'd be a weird double standard to be like, you can't do that. Francisco whipping everyone, now that's chill. But throwing coffee, that's where I draw the line. It's like, no, the judge just doesn't, just doesn't care. The bug that eyes are very good. The size of evidence is right here. The camera data, right here. As usual, the defense comes prepared, your honor. It's lawful evil. Well then, let's see what you've got. That's not a lot of damage for being wrong about this. Take a look at this, your honor. Enjoy this evidence, your honor. Here's your proof. What do you think, Mr. Godot? Looks to me like Mr. Tried is still a mite sleepy. You gonna give me some more coffee? Perhaps you'd like a big mug of my special Godot blend. Well? No thanks. I'm fine. Really. Okay. He eep me. Another mistake like that and I'm through. Yeah, I got like five more of those in me. I don't have a thing? Proof? Of course I... I've got nothing. Ha! Just what I thought. Feeny eep me. A man has to hold his head up high no matter how bad things get after all. Yeah. I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy's the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. But are you going to just give up and let us lose this? So you've come to your senses, have you, Sir Lawyer? I can't think of a counterattack at all. It seems the cloud of sus surrounding this witness has lifted. Mr. Godot, do you have anything further to add than- But, but who? Desiree, who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Mr. Light, what are you doing here? Chat's excited. Nicky boy. So, once again, I am forced to go. I don't have anything, Your Honor. I I mean, honestly, though, I don't think I was wrong. I feel like the, the, the falsified security camera record proves a direct... And if not proving that at me is Master Masks, proves that he's complicit in the crime. But, anyway. Afternoon delight. The thing you've been looking for? I think I found it. You mean, that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? God, fuck. She's also stupid. Well, that's uh, the sacred urn. Nick, it's the urn. Why, why does it say Ami on it? Order you, madame, that urn. Where did you find it? And it got purple. Yeah, I remember what, I thought it was just like normal, like beige. Off-white before. I don't remember. You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants East Detective, Luke Atney. He did have a big old bag that we didn't look in. Oh, Desi, you're the best. Sacred Urn updated report. Dang rumple blood. It was bluish. Last time he said it was blue. It was always purple. Oh, yeah, for course. Hey, Chew Real. Howdy. Welcome. Desi's the bestie. Male wife, girl boss. Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, falsify evidence. How do you explain that one, Mr. At Me? Yeah. Even you are gonna have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Objection. The photo may look brown. 
Well, there's there's the I guess most of the time I saw it was in flashback of like Pearl fixing it. That's probably why I thought it was sepia tinted. Uh pathetic. <laughs> Mr. Godot, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? Before casting aspersions at Detective Atme, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree Delight, is that correct? Yes, what about it? He looked her up on Facebook in his Google Glass. How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. What are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. Now, he, do he does have a point. So you found the urn, what does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office. You just got lawyered, Desiree. Please, madame, this town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. You're wrong! I would never, I would never do such a thing. Mr. Light. Please, Nicky boy, you've got to help me talk some sense into these people. There must be some way. I've got to prove that urn was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. That's why what I saw, show free can't prove anything yet. I mean, I saw the bag, but that also doesn't prove anything. Fingerprints on the urn. I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come now. Now you're really making me laugh, sir lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. Also quite sus of you, sir. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Nick, what are you gonna do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Amy must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. The defense proposes the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Um. Godot's fingerprints. Oh no, I didn't think this through at all. Who could have possibly? Hmm. You know, right? No, I don't know. Hmm. It's very straightforward. I have Fedora. Here's what I here's what I remember, which is not much. I remember we went to his office. It, there was no bag there. We come back later. There's a bag there. Maya's like, let's get in that bag, and then we're like, okay, start opening it. And then Luke at me shows up. He's like, why are you going through my stuff? That's all I remember about the bag. As far as the urn is concerned, that's almost a pun. Um, the urn was. It was. Is it gonna have Pearl's fingerprints on it? What happens when you open the bag? Uh, I don't remember. I, th I thought it, he interrupted us before we actually got in there. I won't get if I forgot. It's possible I forgot something else that happened. Pearl's the one that remade the urn after it broke, so presumably her fingerprints are all over it. Uh, possibly Adrian also handled it at some point. So I guess there's something I forgot because I feel like Pearl's fingerprints are on it, Adrian's fingerprints are on it. Uh, he wears gloves, so his fingerprints wouldn't be on it. Possibly Maya's as well. <laughs> like, I did for Gore. So yeah, I think I need a nudge, because I guess there's something else I'm forgetting. What am I trying to prove? I'm trying to prove that Luke at me did it? They'll touch the urn before the theft. You give me a nudge. I touched something in the bag. Who was at the office when the bag was there? Was it just me, Maya, and... And then Luke? Uh, it was found in his office in a bag? Smooth and hard in his office. So okay, so Phoenix's fingerprints are on it. So he's masked the mask. Gotcha. Okay, alright. That's pretty good. 
I totally forgot. Hiya! It's me! Thanks, chat. So what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? That does- you're right, Phoenix usually is not a profile you can select in the court record. I just thought that was a new thing for the game. Because it's a new game, but... Good call. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not- no. Appreciate it. Come on, open it up! Hey, wait a minute! We can't just open his private property! Don't be such a fuddy-duddy! This is an important investigation! What's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kinda hard and smooth. Well, hello there! And then he- and then he continued to... Do all that. Uh... Boop. Uh, it's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at that time. Like, not knowing things, so you can just spin! Yeah, you can always, you can always spin. Whether or not I'm asking for help, but... The anime bloopers for this case are amazing. I, I definitely want to check out the anime once I'm done with the trilogy. I did touch what was inside. Oh, you touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Like a urn. That was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there, then it proves the urn was in Detective Abby's office. Objection. It's my bowling ball. Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. Now, wh what did you say? Not what I said, it's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. I polished until it's just about glowing. I forgot that she said that as well. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was... Yesterday, at the Atme Detective Agency. Ha! This blend. Godot blend number 107. I've decided... It's a little too bitter after all. Oh no! He needs to update his Apple Vision Pro! It's smoking! Order, order, I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and... Wait! Wait a moment, Your Honor! There's no need for that. No need, you say? Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. Because he's the masked man! It's you, it's you! What are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. He looks broken. Ah! 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 Hoo! Hoo! Ah! Hoo! That's a new sp- okay. Hmm. He's having a good time. Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown! Not the clowns again. This guy's nuttier than a fruitcake. You see, it was me all along! I am the one and only mask star to mask! Ha ha! I hope you all enjoyed my little performance. Hee hoo ha! Hoo! Hee ha! So is this a bad time? Okay, I can come back later. Well, Mr. Godot, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. That was easy. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of Thief! It's just like me playing Link's Awakening for real. Link! Uh, Link! Nick! My brain just short-circuited. You were right, after all. Thief. I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. He looks so sad about it, though. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Hold it. You're wrong! Wrong, I tell you! I, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right is what I was really trying to say. Oh, no, he's not. This can't be happening. How did Mr. Light know where to get the urn? Yeah. 
Yeah. The thief, the sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me. I'm him. I'm the one you want. I'm the thief, I tell you. So do it. Pronounce me guilty, please. Lock him up, court dismissed. I don't know what kind of kangaroo court you all think this is, but... Objection! Objection! This is clearly kangaroo court, your honor. The true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judge. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. Mr. Godot, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Ha. Huh. Hey there, Mr. Thief. Yes, sir? If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you are masked, start a mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Yes, sir. I'll be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. That's really true. I I know that. I won't fail, I swear. Okay, then. Talk. We're all listening. Oh, well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. Good. Any married? Do you think marriage makes you a man? No. Confessing the crimes you didn't commit is what makes you a man. The truth is, I've been masked to mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually masked to mask, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. Your wallet was found in a different building, sir. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see right there in the photo. That's me. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and it got torn off. That's all. Hmm. That's me in the corner. I don't like the direction this trial is taken. This is how every trial goes, at least with me anyway. Ha! You're doing great. Hee hee hee. Stop it, Mr. Goodell. You're embarrassing me. Like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, all right? But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true master mask. Thanks so much, Mr. Goodell. I'll do my best. All right, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for the cross-examination. Huh? I guess that's the deal with the fact that he was blackmailed. <laughs> but, uh... Hmm. The truth is, I've been masked to mask all along. Yep. You may think you're the real master mask, but your wife thinks you're delusional. And your wife is very hot. She can't be wrong. I haven't told Desi yet about my true identity, I mean. Believe me, I've got my reasons. But the way your room is decked out, how could she not know about it? Hmm. Even thieves have complicated family situations, I suppose. What should I do? Sounds like we're about to get sidetracked again. Press for no reason. So why are you withholding the truth from your wife? Well, first of all, I don't think she believed me anyway. And second, if there's one thing that Desi absolutely detests, it's criminals. Unless they're speeding, that's not a crime. That's just a cool thing you can do. Get in a car chase with the police. If that's the case, then why did you ever start thieving to begin with? Well, Desi's crazy about shopping. She's a real shopaholic. But she's the love of my life, Your Honor. I guess you could say I'm a Desi-aholic. Hmm. I also went through a period addicted to Desahal. So you do have a complicated family situation after all. Women be shopping. All right, that's enough. Please continue with your testimony, I beg of you. My car runs on Desahal. I mean, you can't actually prove I'm not the mask, mask the mask. Time is relative, ergo speeding isn't real. It's just your frame of reference. I thought you were going to be the one to show us the proof. You know, that you're the real mask the mask and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy. Hey now, that's not fair. Why do I have to do all the hard work anyway? Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim for a change? Come on, Nick. You know that Mr. Delight couldn't have committed the crime. You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put it to work already. 
I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be masked to mask. Well, I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be here, would we? We'd be out getting celebratory hamburgers. Well, for the time being, maybe I need a shift strategy. I should try to show that Mr. Delight couldn't have stolen the urn. He has a degree? Yeah, apparently. Anyway, I... Dot, dot, dot. I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. Yeah. Uh huh You've got no alibi? I've been a judge for a long time. And this is the first time I've ever heard of a defendant's brag about having no alibi. But I tell you, I was in Lordly Taylor that night. Uh, no, uh, that's too vague, even for me. To be more precise, I was down in the basement warehouse. Hold on. What is it, Nick? Where was Ron Delight when the crime happened anyway? If we can prove he had an alibi after all, this case will be a piece of cake. Well, you're right, but... Ha! You think you can prove that? Wake up and smell the coffee. Well, I think maybe I can. Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence that shows the defendant has an alibi? I just want to hear the rest of his testimony first. No. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I'm sorry. Uh, say, what am I apologizing for? You, witness, hurry up with your testimony already. I'm sorry. Why is it that I'm always the one that has to apologize to everyone in the end? That escalated quickly. I donned my costume and just dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. What was? What kind of dance was it? Was it, um... Were, were you hitting the gritty down the steps? Dancingly descended? From where, exactly? Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone save me, again. That's very ghost trick right? I know it's shit Takumi. I get it, but, like, that type of, like, callback. I guess he thinks descended sounds more heroic or thief-like or something. I'm gonna use the swings! I should make a, an emote version of the judge where he's, like, on a seesaw. Bar recess. I was there at the crime scene, just like I said. Look, you can see right there in the photo. That's me. Dancingly descended, and she boobily breasted. Now you get it. Yeah, recess. Woo! Strange guy. Strange guy. I agree. This is the photo that was taken by the security camera at the crime scene. I descended horizontally, and I danced in a walking, normally fashion. No doubt about it, that's Mask the Mask. Yes, but don't forget there's something important missing. The real Mask the Mask has a big brooch on his chest. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and got torn off. That's all. I agree. Me too. <laughs> Thank you, chat. You didn't notice it when your brooch was torn off? Huh? Well, I'm always a little nervous when I'm working. There's a bit of clothing left on the back side of the brooch. I don't think it could have been torn off that easily. Mm. I did get a possum picture. Let me share it again. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Right now, we're trying to prove that Mr. Delight isn't the thief, right? Yeah, I guess so. Let me hear that testimony one more time. One more time. Check out this little guy at the, at the beach. He's vibing. He's having a lovely time. Yeah, let's go! Alright, anyway, uh, it's disturbing. It doesn't seem like the typical attention whore to me. Attention whore? You can say that in a Nintendo game? Unlike, say, you, Nick. Wow, okay. I am nothing of the sort. Thank you very much. I gotta admit, it's kinda scary the way Ron acts. Anyway, time to poke some holes in that testimony of his. Who taught you that word? Probably pearls. Uh, I have a mask mask all along, blah, blah, blah. I don't have an alibi. Yeah, you do. They got fixed in later ports. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I would imagine they tweaked that for the trilogy you release. Another reason I'm glad I'm playing the original DS version. Uh, ha! Prove it. Yeah, I can prove it. I have the evidence, or do you think I'm still some sort of third-rate rookie? Oh, I I've never seen you this angry before. I'm not surprised. Anger is the last refuge of the pathetic. I thought I was more confident than angry. This game specifically is remarkably vulgar. Hmm. I'm a greenhorn number. I mean, we've had how many years of successful cases now? Well then, let's see this evidence already. Ugh. Show this court evidence that proves where your client was on the night of the crime. I think it's the wallet. 
Found in KB's security building at around 1 a.m. the night of the crime. This is the key card found in Ron's wallet opens up the security uh, CEO's office. And the blackmail letter says, be at KB security at 1 a.m. So... Um... Do I submit the letter or do I submit the wallet? I mean, I guess in theory you could get the letter and be like, he wasn't there though. The wallet ties him to the location. So, let's go with the wallet. It's a wallet. Your Honor, wallet. Uh, your, your Honor, may I present? Take that! Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Uh, yes, it, it does. I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Uh, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. That's not mine. Evidence? But this is you! Yep. Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you'd lost your wallet? Uh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when Destiny and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? Sure you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. This proves that Mr. Delight was, in fact, at KB Security that night. No! No money in it, though. But I had $300 in unmarked bills. Nope, no cash. So if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. No! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lordly Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. According to Larry, anyway. And Goodell's gonna be like, uh, you forgot that there's, uh, uh, a, a bus that runs direct. There's a hyperloop that connects KB Security and Lordly Taylor. And it gets you there in, in, in 28 minutes flat. And we'll be like, damn it, Larry! You fucked me. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Godot? There's a bullet train. <laughs> it goes straight there. Thanks for the hydrate. Most reliable source, Larry. And stop drinking that coffee! Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one that calls me Thief, Mr. Godot. All right, I'll try. I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there, not at the heist. Planted it there? It's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The key card to KB Security's CEO's office. No! Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. Bleh. Motive! Of course. He slammed his hand without the coffee mug. Why would this thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Yeah, stupid kid. Now then, let's see your evidence. The evidence that shows why Mr. Delight went to KB Security at 1 a.m. that night. Yeah, go with pow! Yeah, pow! I'm gonna flick it like a card. Foo! Mr. Delight! I believe you've seen this before, correct? Ah, if that's... What is it? A blackmail letter! That's what it looks like from its contents. Blackmail? But that's how I like my coffee. Yes, basically it says bring $50,000. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, all right. At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Security's CEO office, a full half an hour away from the scene of the crime. <laughs> Intensely drinks coffee. I wish I, I wish the meeting was recorded when Shu Takumi was pitching this character to the artists at Capcom. Of like, so I'm gonna need some sprites. But like, here's the budget of how many sprites we have for this game. And he's like, I'm I'm gonna need about half of the budget for him having several animations of drinking and holding mugs in various states of exasperation. 
No! <laughs> Just pouring it all over himself. Order! So when the theft of the urn occurred, occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. Virtue's just gonna drink whiskey instead of coffee? I like that it's coffee. I feel like that's more fun than him just chugging booze in court. And even if they played it, it's like, no, he gets like more drunk. It's like, I think it's more fun. He's just hyped up on coffee. Plus, smart spy reviews. Mm. It looks like a perfect case for the defense. Objection. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me. Well, let's just say that my Godot Blend 107 impresses me a lot more. He'd be dead if he drank that much whiskey. Yeah. He'd also die if he drank this much coffee in the span of five minutes. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Huh? Well, uh, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? I'm not sure what I think of that. Not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. You're really cool and I like your design. Good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim the defendant entered the CEO's room, but you will need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Thanks, Azawaji. I think we're gonna have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? There is someone else who can testify. This is the person who can testify that the keycard was used at 1 a.m. that night. Huh? Is it Ron? <laughs> it, wait, it, wait, wait, is it, is it Ron? Is it Larry? Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, is it Larry? Oh no. Who is this useless looking young man? You don't remember him, your honor? Hmm, nope. But just looking at his picture makes me the bile start to rise in my throat. Yeah, that's fair. Looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. If something stinks, we're fucked. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh? The question at hand is this key card. Yep, that's the key card they use in the building I work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need to get into that room, and every time you use that card, it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this car this key card's data. Like the delayed reaction from him. <laughs> he has to take a sip of his coffee in order to have the spit take for dramatic effect. That's good. Well, Mr. Godot, the name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. Is that a pun? I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the key card data here. So what does it show? Each key card has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. Kane Bullard Security, I get it. British? Key card updated in court record. But that means it can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Master Mask in this photo. Ha! It looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. So, then. But I can't brew a new cup in two seconds, right, Gumshoe? Rhonda Light was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. KB Toys? No, sus. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be master mask. Good job! You did it, Nick! That's enough! I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man! Gang deja vu. He's smirching him with the title of thief. What's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. But before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. <clears throat> Very well. 
The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Yeah, woo! Yippee! Court is now adjourned. Whee! October 13, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number four. Easy peasy. Nick, you did it! You were right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy! Oh, Miss Delight. I knew you could do it! I believed in you all along, Nicky boy! I don't know how I can ever repay you. Ah, shucks. Thanks, Miss Delight. I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick! Oh, Pearls, I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Who is this woman? Oh, she she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing! How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya! You should be ashamed of yourself! Ouch! She slapped me! Um, Pearly? This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. Phoenix could have just said that. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Yes? You're even worse than I thought! Going behind the back of your own client! No, no! You've got it all wrong! I'll never forgive you! Slapping the shit out of him. Double slap. Get his ass. Beat him up. Anyway, all's well that ends well, right? We got the sacred urn back and the thief has been caught. Did we get the urn back, though? Did we? You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. But actually, it was you, Miss Delight, that brought us our urn back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please. You're embarrassing me. If we won the case... Then why does this guy still look so glum? Uh, but I am the thief. Actually, what's the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I know that and I appreciate it, Tessie. But the thing is... Come on, give the kid some time. He's just got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? Mr. Godot, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Oh, he's great. <laughs> Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy, guy. Front-facing Godot jump scare. Well, playtime is over. Huh? Yeah, I was playing I was playing Subway Surfers on, on my on my Oculus. Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. Remember earlier when I was saying that I believed that this case would have a murder take place at some point during it, and that it was a nice change of pace, but... Yeah. King Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? B body A body has been discovered. There's absolutely not going to be a murder. There's no way in hell. It happened five minutes ago. The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October 12th. Hey, Wire Mouse. The Spyro in this game is amazing. It's really good. I, I I am very glad that I'm playing the DS version. For for the reasons of, of translation, early translations that haven't been tweaked. Uh, but also, yeah, the sprite work is amazing. It's very good. I do like the Ace Attorney Trilogy HD art, but this is this is real good. This is better. 1 a.m. on October 12th? You don't mean. Larry did it. That's right, amigo. At the same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being moited. So then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out. What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbrued with rage? Come on. Don't tell me you didn't know it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. An employee of KB? It looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be the noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. Alibisn't. No way! 
He can't be the thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but I, I'm a thief, I tell you. Ron Delight, you're going back to prison again. This time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't, this is impossible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown. Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down from a challenge? You've never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Hmm. Pearl, are you guys, you know, were you guys roommates? How could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. Yeah, Ronnie! Ronnie! Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larceny. What the heck's gonna happen next? Do 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 do. So anyway, Godot's track record is now 100% failure. Nice. <laughs> You're right. He's lost every case he's tried. October 13th, 3.02 p.m. Right and cold law offices. Was I expecting this? Not exactly this. I didn't predict the CEO being murdered. I just thought either someone was gonna, gonna get murdered over the course of the case or... I don't know. I just thought that this was all far too simple, naturally. Um, just the whole the whole subplot of there being a blackmail at all was like, clearly there's more over there that we'll need to learn about. Um, let me get caught up on alerts real quick. Too shrimple. It's all shrimple. Uh, Smash Matthew for 69 bits. Nice. You like jazz? I do like jazz. Speaking of jazz, um, did you see... Did, chat, did you see the terrible, horrible news... Um, from from uh, from Disney Corporation, that they have uh, retconned jizz music in Star Wars. Oh, there goes chat. Don't worry about that. Um, they apparently are calling it Jats instead of jizz. This is the worst timeline. They can't hide the truth. Yeah, like retweet and solidarity if you're still a chew jizzer. So. They stole your jizz. Yep. It's rough. Those bastards. I will never accept this. I'm a true jizzer. That's what I like to see. Thank you, Trent. The fans will never foregore. What were we talking about? Boba Fett Starship. <laughs> Thanks, Fizz. I'm getting into the old canon now. There you go. Jizzent. A true jizz musician. Can't have shit in Detroit. In this Detroit. Wait. No, that's not. Oh, no. All my Star Wars respect. <laughs> Thanks, Weeb. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I like jazz. Uh, Azamaji, thanks for 50 bits. I love how Luke at me is all Godot. A prosecutor without equal on the sinful earth. Godot, women want him. Fish fear him. Godot, the other, other white meat. When talking about him, and then you find out he's just being Luke at me. And no one has ever heard of this guy before. This guy's, this case is great. Yeah. Oh, he's the most powerful prosecutor ever. He's the one tough cookie. And he's like, this is my first case. Oh no, I lost. See you later. He summoned Gam. They took jizz from us. Hey, Gam. We can't jizz anymore in Star Wars. It's an outrage. Right. Updated Star Wars report. It sucks here. It sucks out here. George Lucas didn't sell Star Wars for billions of dollars to Disney for them to erase his legacy like this. They are demolishing everything George Lucas stood for. First, they banned jizz, then what? Then what? Banning the Force? It's as important to Star Wars. That's fine sometimes. <laughs> Citizen Kane is for five months. My Twitch Prime came back. Thanks for the Prime. Thanks for all you do. Love watching your streams. Appreciate it. Kind of you. Hope you enjoy the emotes. And hope you enjoy the brand brand new, shiny new emote barista. People have asked me before in like emote streams for years. It was literally like one of the earliest emote names. It was like bartender and barista. And I was like, I don't know what either of those would be. 
and I, and I, I made a Godot, and it was like... I literally was just calling it, call, I'm not even joking, I was gonna call him Bar Godot. Or just Bar Sip, and just replace the other Bar Sip, and I was just like... Barista! It's finally here! Um... Let me show you the, the full doodle I made of him. Um... Cause I, I, I he was, he's, he's a fun guy to draw. Look at him. I did draw the whole thing, I just kinda cropped it in for the emote, so it would hopefully read better, but... Look how fucking doofy he is. <laughs> He's a lot more serious in the game than I expected him to be, but, yeah. He, his, his sprites make him seem just like a head-empty doofus. This is Jujutsu Kaisen. Wow, he's Xehanort. Can you post that on Twitter, perhaps? Yeah, I can post it. Somewhere. Gotta have the smug grin. None thoughts left coffee. He's pretty silly. Yeah, he's a little silly. Uh, Chapel of Chaos, thanks for five months. I'm here for the barista. Hope you enjoy it. Shake and bacon, this was soup. Uh, God... God Lord? That might have been a, just the autocorrect. Godot, sexy jazz theme is named The Fragrance of Dark Coffee. Because he loves coffee. The likes, thanks for 50 bits. Gobble like in the theater. Cello therapy, thanks for 15 months. Barista, time to count coffee cups. How many cups of coffee did you go through this morning? Like, 15? Jetstream Sam smile personified? Yeah, it's that similar kind of like... A little bit of a shit-eating grin. It's good. Uh, Jasmine Jasmine, thanks for in the 95 bits. Best of luck working for Apple part-time and studying law and all that. Best of luck with that. Good music news. Banjo-Kazooie Modder remade Nirvana's Nevermind with all banjo sounds. I did not see that. That sounds like a nightmare. I, are, are, are all the vocals just like Banjo-Kazooie like... Because that's pretty good. Shit. Well, obviously I can't listen to this on stream, but I'll fuck off with this. The fucking album art that popped up as it loaded. There was I don't know if it's actually in the Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's 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 underwater and there's a jiggy on a fishing hook. Oh, and even even snackers back there too. Smells like bear spirit. Okay. That's good. Great. Uh, uh, Llama Broski, thanks for 27 months. How do you, how do you, how about you gumshoe this, you old bag? Don't say old bag. Even as two different words. It slaps. Where's his dick, though? <laughs> if it's authentic, where's his pee-pee? Thank you. Someone's saying it. Trent and Gator, thanks for four months. Not sticking around for spoils from the VODs. Hope you have fun. A few brain cells surviving to solve this case. I mean, so far... I mean, we got through it. I definitely forgot some stuff, but... Here we go. What do you think bear spirit smells like? Uh, honey. And being mauled to death by a bear. Jilly Bells, thanks for 37 months. Goon, thanks for 32. Discombobigator. Sonic Wolf, thanks for 500 bits. Well, back and found your near and Kingdom Hearts lore videos. The, cha the chaos was hilarious. Thank you. Ori Rocks, thanks for 28 months. I got a Berea tacos and burritos. It's a good time. Lord Barris. Bar Bobble. Enjoy. That sounds rad. Naya Dalamik, thanks for 69 months. Nice. Nice. Smash with Nexus, 96 bits. Look at me. Just want to be a big shot. Yeah, I saw people saying he just looks like Spampton. Azumaji, thanks for 50 bits. Godot is basically the episode of Futurama where Fry drinks so much coffee he ascends to a higher state of being. I did think about that. I was thinking about drinking 5,000 cups of coffee in a single day. Because, yeah, that's a very good episode of Futurama. Cupid's Mox, thanks for 68 months. That's a lot. Wire Mouse, the sprite work, sprite work is amazing. It's very good. Also, um, I talked about this, I think, when I was playing the last game, that um, uh, uh, I think it was specifically in the context of... I'm blanking on his name because there's a billion names in these games. Uh, but the, the, the guy that we, in the final case, who was like, haha, I'm actually evil, and look at my face now because my hair was covering it. Mwahaha, he's evil. And I was like, wow, I'm really glad I never looked at his sprite sheet. Mad on guard, that's the one, thank you. Um, I never looked at his sprite sheet because I, I usually use sprites people have ripped from these games in making the thumbnails uh, for YouTube. Um, and I never looked at his sprite sheet, so I didn't get that spoiled, which is great. And people were like, hey, be wary of spoilers. If you look at sprite sheets for this game, you're gonna see spoilers. So I was like, okay. Um, good news, no one has uploaded the sprites from this game to Spriter's resource. So, um, 
I, I was able to grab some sprites from the Ace Attorney fan wiki, but uh, it's not like a full sprite sheet. It's like broken up by animation and stuff, so it, it, it probably will be okay. I mean, we'll, we'll see. I, I'll still try with caution, of course, um, and I can always reach out to people who don't care about spoilers to grab me some PNGs if I need to, but... Why well, I play the last game before the third one? I'm talking about the last one I played. They show me all the court records. Maybe I saw one. Yeah, if it's still gonna be. Pretty spice floors in this, yeah. Good news, bad news. Yeah, it's fine. Court work is still on, but careful. Good. Yeah. Even bigger spice floors than this joke on. I will. Thank you. But I just thought it was funny that I was like, oh no, I need a sprite of me appointing because that's new from this game. And it's not there. Uh, the only rips on Spider's resource are like the title screen and like a couple things. They're, the thumbnail is even Godot in court, and they don't have any sprites of Godot. On the website, it's like, and then there's a comment of like, where are all the sprites? I mean, it's people just generously taking their time to, you know, pull the art out of the games and, and assemble them and upload them and everything. Like, it's not nothing. It's considerable work, I'm sure. But it is funny there's a page for it and there's nothing on there. Chord Record does what? Chord Record puts spoiler sprites behind a spoiler. Courtrecords.net makes you click to see spoilers. Oh, there's a website called Court Records. I thought I'd talk about the Court Record button in the game. I was like, huh? I didn't even know there was a website. I was looking at the Ace Attorney, like, fandom site, which I wasn't reading the pages. I searched for sprites, and they're like, there's just a dedicated page of some animations, so it's fine. Gotcha. Okay, I see what you're saying. They have sprites. Okay, well then, I might have someone check it out for me. Thank you. It's an old fan site. Great. The A fan site. Understood. Yeah, fandom sucks. I appreciate the work people put into them, but as a, as a, like, host? Fandom, the company, the, the business, is awful. A lot of amazing fandom websites, because the users put in time and effort, the organization is not great. Those websites have become increasingly unusable over the years. Uh, anyway, thank you. Javier, thanks for two months. Enjoy your bronze key. Barista, he's slurping up that coffee. Uh... Fandom Journals are good. Yeah. A lot of fandom group. Mm hmm. The worst, for real. The pop up ads, the lack of annotation, cited sources. Well, I mean, that's just the community that's hosting the fandom or, or working on that site. But. You mean the ad platform with lore on the side? Yeah, that's the one. Ad and spyware. Anyway. What are we doing? Uh, I'm glad we found the urn and all, but poor Mr. Delight got arrested again. We're back. Well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose! I don't buy it. But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there, it was Mr. Nick himself, at least from what I can understand. They have blue badger sprites. Yeah. Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Looks like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Why are you smiling? Um, uh, well, how about we get started looking into the KB security murder? I think I'm gonna head back to Crane Village for a little while, if that's all right. Uh, sure, but why? I'm gonna bring the sacred urn back and have some people take a look at it. And come back and tell us it's not the real urn, which I can tell at a glance. But okay. That's a good idea. I think I'll go with... No, Mystic Maya! You should stay here. I want you two to spend some special quality time together, full of love and happiness. Maybe Pearls is so cop in her fantasy she forgot there's a murder to solve. Sacred urn given the pearls. Now remember, no fighting, okay? So she's she's gonna take like like the 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 bus back to Crane Village? No, she's she's gonna not run out the door. See you later. She's gone. Okay, Nick, time to get on this murder investigation. Oh shit. Okay, Nico Roaya. Size turning. I ran. Yeah, I've never played these games before. And if you want to see more, I have vods on the vod channel on YouTube of me playing the first two games. Just started the third one the other day. We're in case two. Got a different bit. Have a good one, weeb. I got narcs in here. Oh, shit. Charlie, out of the way, ma'am, ma'am, move. How's my boy doing? I couldn't look at him before. Charlie, my guy. A quite decorative plant. When she was alive, Mia really loved it. She went so far as to make it our mascot. No matter how busy I get, I never forget to water this little fella. He's doing good. He's doing good. Let's go, Charlie. I should make all my emotes Charlie-themed. Make him the new stream mascot. 
Sean got lost once the last time we left her on her own. She's fine. There's a giant building outside the window. It's the Gateway Gatewater Hotel. The chain is getting so rich, they bought a whole chunk of the next town over and started building a huge theme park. I think all this is the same. Yeah. Barley. Barley. Uh, I have a... So glad the plant's alive. Yeah, right? I feel like some of the times we've looked at it, or also last time Gumshoe was... Wasn't he, like, overwatering it? Or was that Pearls? There was a threat to Charlie's being. I was worried about it. We're good. Charlie. What to do? What to do? Charlie Houseplant, Ace Attorney. Come on, Shutakumi. Give us what we want. What do we do now? Isn't it obvious? We should get out there and investigate the Moida. But first, we need to find out exactly where KB Security is located. Hey, why don't we ask Miss Delight? She should know. Besides, I want to ask her some stuff about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You're not thinking of getting one, are you? I'm not the same little Maya who used to be happy with her dinky little bike, Nikki boy. <sighs> Speaking of asking around, I've got a few questions of my own for Mr. Delight. Okay, let's make sure to go to the detention center up too. I feel like Maya gets sad every time we go to the, to the detention center and she's not in there. Puts her hand to the glass. That should have been me. You must be relieved we got the sacred urn back, huh? You bet. But there's something a little different about it. Don't hmm at me. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this. It clearly says I am on the urn in the poster. Wait, Maya realized that? I thought she was stupid. But the urn we got back says Ami, like it always used to. Oh yeah, you're right. Plus, the vase has pink splotches on it now. Just like the pink goop what we saw in the basement. I'm sure they weren't there before. Maya can read? Maya brain. Maya doesn't know, but one year ago when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Ami's name into I Am. And that repair was one mechanically unskilled little pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing pink splotches on it. It is it possible that Urn is a fake? I'm sure Pearls will find out about that once she gets back to Crane Village. I suppose. Now that I think about it, Maya hasn't been back to Crane Village in a long time. Kurain. Oh my god, they killed a Danganronpa character. Do, do, Danganronpa, do Danganronpa characters have pink blood? It's also missing its many cracks. They do? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. And a body was discovered. Oh no. Probably just a huge fan of Descartes. I think, therefore. I guess people still go to Crane Village to do their training, huh? Yep. If you want to become a spirit medium, you need to undergo severe training. So why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Well... Lately, I've been thinking of heading to a channeling dojo to do just that. Channeling dojo? Sounds pretty serious, whatever that is. Ami changed series and died inside the urn. Rip. If you're going to train, you have to be serious. Otherwise, real tragedies can happen. Is what happened last year still bothering you? That murder in her village. It happened because the power of channeling was misused. When a medium uses the Korean technique, she temporarily loses her own will. So when an especially strong spirit is summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over, even forced to commit terrible crimes. What's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. Whoever suggests I watch the VOD two times speed, my brain is pooped now. Rip. Phoenix, please. That murder wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. Sounds like being the master of Crane's gonna be a heavy responsibility. I have no plans to play Danganronpa. I talked to Gam about it at length in the past, because he did some streams of Danganronpa, and he was like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know about that. And I, I, I trust, I trust Gam's take on such matters. It's not a berry game, that's basically what he said. <laughs> so, not, 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 not planning on doing that. Not even the length, necessarily, just all the above. Um... I should play it, but not stream it? I mean, maybe. Where the ain't recommendation, Doc? It's just a motorcycle. Mm-hmm. I mean, people have recommended in the recommend, Doc, don't play this game, so, yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Not, vi not my vibe. I don't know where 99 falls. A lot of people have recommended 999. And yeah, I don't know either, because I haven't played it. Or anything in that series. Uh, of what the, uh, or that would fall on the... 
on the on the on the vibes spectrum. It's good shit. Nine nine so good. So you still got that badge, I see. Yeah, I'm a lawyer, aren't I? Yeah, but I guess I just didn't think you'd keep it one keep on being one for this long. You have to admit, you've had some close brushes with death because of your job. I feel to see how being a lawyer is to be, is is be more dangerous than channeling dead people. Yeah, is be. Nine nine's a great one. You think I like it? Okay. Well, I, not Dong Ropa chat was like, yeah, nine nine people like, ooh, so maybe, maybe. Let me know. I have a form. You can type in nine 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 OMG, XD XD XD, and then in like a year's time when I check it, I'll be like, why is everyone saying XD when they're recommending nine nine nine? What do you think about this? Hmm, seems like it has something to do with this case, but I'm not really sure. Great. The calling card. So this was made by the real Master Mask. Yep, Gumshoe said it was the real deal. One look at this mark and you know it's the real deal, pal. Yeah, but you do realize whose deductive reasoning skills we're talking about, right? Damn, get him. What about Layton? Streaming a Layton game? You think I want to sit here and be bad at puzzles for 18 hours? And have chat just judge me the whole time? I'm a terrible idea. Nine and I got a sequel recently. Did it? I thought there were like three games in that series. Fucking hate Layden. Yeah, puzzles suck. I only play FPSs like Valorant on stream chat. Was the entire time you playing Layden? That's, that's the joke. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll be doing the crossover at some point after finishing this game. Uh, there are three. All right. I didn't even know that statue existed until a little while ago. Might not be good to stream as much as before the original DS version. You can't skip scenes on that. As a result, you have to see the beginning cutscene at least nine times. Nine, nine, nine times. My joke is rude. Any interest in Sweary 65? I mean, I don't know much about it, but Hotel Barcelona looks wild. One, two, three, four, five. Anyway, uh, didn't Adrian say it's from a Faye Branch family's training hall or something? Yeah, there are actually a lot of training halls scattered all over the country. Hidden away deep in desolate mountains. Why does it always have to be desolate mountains? According to this data, the thief showed up at the basement warehouse at one o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah, remember, this data came from at me. For all we know, he might have somehow tampered with it. But, but then what about this photo? It's got the time on it too. Yeah, and the security camera belonged to Lordly Taylor. At me couldn't have tampered with the photo's timestamp to show the wrong time. That's not how technology works. For software he coded. I guess that means this data is accurate after all. Sure. I'll accept that. The Descalay Mountains. The master mask in this photo is Detective Atme in disguise, huh? Looks that way. Atme knew there was a security camera set up in the basement, so I'm guessing this photo is probably a part of his elaborate plan. It's still bent, isn't it? Detective Atme said it got bent when the thief hit him on the head with it. Well, it looks like he ended up the bent one after he turned out to be the thief. He must have damaged the sword himself to back up his phony story. Or maybe he used it to move the statue as like leverage and then it got bent doing that. Like something like maybe, my, my point is like maybe he used the sword as part of whatever his weird scheme was. And that resulted in it getting bent, and also the statue moving, and now there's dried pink paint, where... But they said the paint was old? I don't know. I guess he does have a brawny mind, huh? Yep. Mr. Delight was being blackmailed, huh? By the CEO of the security company he used to work for. Yeah, it looks like it. Sounds like we still need to do some more poking around. You better watch yourself and not do anything naughty either, Nick. Was that a threat? Did you try to blackmail me now? Maya. This was found in the building where the crime took place on the very night of the murder. Why do we still have his wallet? And according to the time record on the key card inside, it was used right around the time of the murder. Doesn't sound very good, huh? This was found, da, ba, ba, same thing. Publicity photo. So Detective Atme was masked to mask after all, huh? I guess so. He did admit it. Yeah, but Mr. Delight still hasn't changed his tune. He's still claiming that he's the real Master Mask. You don't think he's just saying that to avoid the murder charge, do you? I'm not sure. Mm. Implies he must have knocked himself out with the sword. You're right, that was part of a cyclock. I... Huh. 
Huh. That was part of a psych lock, wasn't it? Yeah, hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Dude's a loony. I mean... Yeah. That's hilarious. I... Mm. That was fa This was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. Somnium files. Yeah. Does that mean Detective Atme put it there himself? That's the only explanation I can think of. I guess he wanted to make sure it looked like he'd struggled with the thief that night. But then why lie about it in court? And say there wasn't a... I don't know. What do you think about me? You're not very photogenic, are you? <laughs> Damn, I... Come on! I'm doing my best out here! Maybe I shouldn't show this picture to too many people. And yet, I've walked around my whole life showing this face of mine to the world. I wonder if I've just been making a fool of myself with this silly face. I was only joking, Nick. Don't make such a sad face. You're making me feel guilty. Yeah, well, you should feel guilty. If it wasn't for Mia, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Yeah, she told me you used to be really clueless. Compared to how unreliable you were then, you actually seem responsible now. Actually, you haven't changed that much, I guess. Maya praised me for a change. Hey, wait a second. Didn't last long. Revenge for the burger shaming. I'm gonna have to really buckle down and get serious. Well, you're the future master of the crane channeling technique, after all. Yeah, that, and I have to play the part of Big Sister, too. For Pearly. And you, Nick. What? Do I look like I was born yesterday? Pearly sure is a good kid. Yeah, but she tends to let her imagination get the best of her, though. That's one of the things I like about her, silly. Slapping you the way she did? She's a tough one, all right. You're telling me. I think she knocked a few teeth loose. Rose is only nine, but it's amazing how emotionally strong she is. After all, the only family she has left is her only cousin, Maya. So Detective Atme was masked to mask after all, huh? Okay. So that's for those two. Dick! Detective Gumshoe's on this case too, huh? He seems to show up during all of our cases. It can't be a coincidence. Maybe it's a sign that our fates are destined to be woven together for all time. Yeah, that'd be a real Beauty and the Beast kind of fairy tale, wouldn't it? Ha-ha. <laughs> ooh hee hoo ha ah, hoo All right, same for that. And Desiree. That Desiree sure is cool. I love that whole motorcycle thing. The way she laughs in the face of death. I want to try it too. I thought you only knew how to ride a bike. Hey, don't forget, Nick, that it's an electric bike. Uh, electric? So young and already so lazy. Whatever happened to good old exercise? You kids these days and your e-bikes and your e-inks and your e-cigarettes and your e-mail and your uh, EA sports that's in the sport. She certainly seems grateful to you, Nick. Well, she was in a pretty tight spot during that terrible ordeal. Actually, I'm grateful to her, too. Hmm, it sounds like you're not telling me something. I'm gonna take a good look at the case file next time- next chance I get. EA Big. Larry. No, it's Larry. He's your old childhood friend, right? Yeah, I've known him since elementary school. Wow, that's even longer than I've known Pearly. Yeah, cause she's only nine. You two must have lots of good memories together. I guess so. If I can hardly remember them, they've been erased by all the traumatic ones. Oh. Good old. Say, Nick, what do you think of that thing attached to his faces anyway? Don't ask me. Why not? You know him, don't you? I've never met that guy before in my life. And believe me, he's not exactly forgettable. Yeah, but at the trial today, he said... So we finally meet, Mr. Phoenix Trite. He had approximate knowledge of my name. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. E.A. Corpse. It's in the dirt. Oh. Yeah. You're sure right, you're right about one thing. He sure acts like he knows me. Hey, Nick, I was just thinking. Maybe you should try to stop making people you've never met before into your enemies. Trust me, I'd like to stop doing that, too. My poor body can only take so much. Who is that guy, anyway? And what's his story? I wonder if I'll ever find out. Probably not. Let's go. AK, we knew each other before. Of course, that's how that works. Yeah. Nope. Was that Adventure Time knowledge? Yeah, Adventure Time reference? Yeah. What does he call him? He calls him Frank the Human Boy? How did you almost know my name? It's like one of the best lines of dialogue in anything I've ever seen. 
I have approximate knowledge of many things, but this place is literally crawling with cops! What'd you expect now that they know he was actually masked to mask? This must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're saying that they're trying to make up for it by tearing this place apart. I quote that a lot. It's very good. I just noticed Gumshoe's nowhere to be seen. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably working on the murder case. Wasn't he in charge of the mask to mask investigation all the way up to yesterday? Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing like a good murder case, pal. Points for the quality of the impression. But I'm not sure Gumshoe has bloodlust, Maya. Anyway, goodbye. My resume selling point. <laughs> Please hire me. I almost know many things. Uh, let's go talk to Desiree. Master Masks Hideout. Still says that. Nikki Boy, Maya, Miss Delight. All I wanted to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess it ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need your help beating herself up. Hey, Nikki Boy, please, please help Ronnie. He's not a killer, I swear. My Ronnie wouldn't hurt a fly. He wouldn't hurt a fly. I'll poke around and see what I can find out. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew asking for your help was the right thing to do. I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I had no idea Miss Delight had such a vulnerable side. Oh. Talk about Ron. Listen carefully, Nicky boy. My Ronnie would never kill anyone. It's just not in him. I don't think you would either, Nick. Yeah, but you have to admit he's got a bit of a temper to him. It's not that hard to imagine him just snapping and screaming, PLEASE DIE! He would never say that! Anyway, Miss Delight, he might not be a killer, but he's still going around saying that he's a thief. I already told you, that's just a fantasy for him. Miss Delight, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. What? How dare you say that to me, Nicky boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have any secrets between us. Ronnie isn't the thief type. He's so honest that he wouldn't even sneak a nap. He's so honest that he wouldn't even steal a glance. Thief? Ha! The very idea. I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I just can't understand how they can be so different and yet be such a happy couple. Yeah, they sure are different. Come on now, Nicky boy. It's not that mysterious, is it? It was love at first sight. For me, anyway. What? For you? I'm just gonna skip down the list of that. Um, so was it really love at first sight when you first met Mr. Delight? Well, maybe not at first sight. Ronnie saved my life. Saved your life? I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just curl into a little ball in a corner, so I fought back. Robbers? Yep, they took me hostage. I was so frightened. They were both carrying these huge knives, and I broke down into tears. I would too if I were in that situation. Oh, I think I get it. Did Mr. Delight come running to save you? Yes, exactly. I remember he looked so handsome in that guard uniform of his. Oh. He's really confusing looking at from behind. Ah! He went right up to those two knife-wielding robbers and screamed in their faces. Yeah, he's got Leia here. Please stop it! He screamed. I could see the robbers' faces turn pale. That high-pitched shriek of his does have a surprisingly strong effect on people. Then, crying and swinging his arms like crazy, he attacked the two robbers. <laughs> so he's just like crying and not really looking, just eh. That's good. That's great. He went beast mode all by himself. He came to save me, a total stranger, all by himself. He was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Thank you for the bits. This is Japan Japanifornia, correct? That's a good story. A great story, too. He may not look it, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. <laughs> That's so romantic. I'd fall in love, too, I guess. Nick, I hope you'll do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. With Maya, that possibility always seems to loom in the not-so-distant future. You mean taken hostage again, right? Uh, Detective Atme. I mean, she was more kidnapped. I mean, where's the line between kidnapped and hostage? It's kind of a blurry line. You know, a little bit. 
I hate those kinds of people more than anything. Um, you mean ace detectives? It was both. A long distance hostage. I'm fine with ace detectives. Oh, so then you must mean thieves. No, they're all right too. I just hate thieves that pretend to be ace detectives. Strange girl. There's nothing I hate more than cowardly men. By the way, why did you go to Detective Atme's office anyway? Well, as the trial went on, I started to get more and more nervous. I went there to try to find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? Yes, obviously, the real Masked the Mask is not my Ronnie, right? Yeah. And Detective Atme knew more about Masked the Mask than anyone else. They mentioned him on the Great People of the Town segment on television. So then you went there to ask him some questions. That's right. I'll do whatever it takes to save my man. His secretary said the East Detective isn't in right now, but I forced my way past her and into his hideout. I wouldn't exactly call that office of his a hideout. That bag was sitting right there on top of the table. Yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, we saw that bag there yesterday too. There's nothing lower than someone who would try to pin a crime on someone else. Mm-hmm. TV. Miss Delight, do you know about KB security? Don't be silly, of course I do. That's where my Ronnie works. She, she, she thinks he still works there, huh? Oh, that's right, according to what we heard today. Come on, don't tell me you didn't know it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB security. He was a professional security guard. But he quit. He doesn't work there anymore. And then he got blackmailed. Hmm. It, it looks like Miss Delight doesn't know. Desiree doesn't know. KB security is only about 20 minutes away. By motorcycle, that is. Saving 10 minutes over a car. I mean, you know, traffic, sure. Motorcyclists can zip through. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. Well, I have to admit, I tend to fly pretty fast on my bike. To make it to KB Security that fast, are you sure you aren't literally flying? Why don't I give you a ride sometime, or better yet, how about now? Um, uh, no, I'll pass, thanks. Why don't you just tell us where it is and we'll go ourselves? Ah, uh, what a scaredy cat you are, Nick. It's the light told us the location of KB Security. Somewhere in that. Let's head over there right away, Nick. Not right away, right away. We gotta go to the detention center first. My sword leave my body if I got on a motorcycle. Yeah, I don't know how I would fare on one. Forgot that static when I haven't been there yet. Uh, detention center. I like the idea of motorcycles. And I've been on bicycles a billion times, but I'm like, yeah. Going that fast and being exposed to the elements, not really for me, I don't think. I already told you, it's not me. A sad, pitiful whine that tapers in a silence. Sounds like they're interrogating Mr. Delight right now. Man, and we don't have enough time as it is. Yeah, well, I guess the police are going crazy just like we are. Yesterday they thought he was just a thief, but now they got a murder case on their hands. I guess you're right. That guard over there looks a bit on edge, too. Come on, we'll just have to come back later. Okay, let's go check out some other place, Nick. Then off we go. Every single person I know that has a motorcycle fell or had an accident. I'm good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, not without risk, for sure. Uh, okay, let's go to the CEO's place. Bum, bum, bottom. They all the team up to convince my dad not to get a motorcycle during his midlife crisis. Yeah. October 13th, KB Security, CEO's office. So I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look thick, just like you'd expect in a CEO's office. Huh? What has that got to do with anything? Hey, it's you guys. Oh, that's Detective Gumshoe. Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal. I like that Maya's saying pal to him. That prosecutor made real fools out of us. Yeah, I feel for you. Well, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like, oh, that was great. You guys got what you deserve, pal. Ho, 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 ho. Or something to that effect. Do I really sound like that to you, pal? If the gumshoe fits. Oh, uh, well, anyway, uh, the point is I can tell when someone puts their heart into their jobs. And I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes I feel like wrong is the only way things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. 
Now, if this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating. I'm gonna poke around. Out for blood. Maya's spinning. She, she's spinning around. She's turning her brain into a centrifuge. To separate all the nice thoughts away from the mean thoughts. We're in Mia's dark arc now. She's just mean to everyone now. You've known him for two years, and he's been nice many times in that time. Uh, the safe is unbelievable. I bet four pearls would fit in there. And it's got a bunch of doohickeys attached to it. Pretty amazing, all right? Motion sensors, heat sensors, weight sensors. Hey, Nick, come on. Let's open it and take a look. If I broke into one of these, wouldn't that set me down the path of Hoodlumville? Not Hoodlumville. This rope. You think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? I don't think so. So you mean, yeah, I think the string shows where and how the corpse was lying. You mean the victim was killed by being crushed by the safe door? She can't be serious. Can she? Does look like he was falling out of the safe. Or crushed by, I doubt that safe can move. I know it's, it's, it's tiny. Um, kind of looks like a, like a, like a lizard, like an iguana. Maybe the CEO was a lizard, man. Sounds like it wasn't very... Safe? Damn. Really? Hey, damn. Yeah. Deactivated. Wow, look at that huge frame photo. Tall mountains rising majestically against the dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? This was his best sunrise? Who got Looney Tunes? <laughs> Either this guy didn't get out enough or he had really rotten luck with the weather. Maybe if he'd lived a little longer, he would have seen some better days. Too soon, Maya. Big red button on the wall. What's that? Ooh, there's a button here. Let's see. Thank you, Maya. Hey, cut it out. Don't press that. That was pretty funny. I never knew Detective Gumshoe could jump like that. What is that button anyway? It's an emergency buzzer. It's when we have to call an emergency meeting. If someone's being sus like you, pal. It says so right there on the panel. Oops, you're right. It's written right there. Just not to read. Nick, how many times have I told you to read instructions first? This alarm's connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up here. Oh god, it sucks all the air out of the room! Then it's possible, on the night of the crime... So when the CEO was attacked, do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there. But they said that the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Hmm, I think we better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. That, that guard isn't Larry, is it? It's, it's, why am I, it's definitely Larry. Who else could it be? These look like some kind of bookshelf slash rolling cabinet hybrid. Yeah, I can't get in between these two shelves. Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at a time, huh? Looks like they're filled with bunches of files. Files filled with data about security jobs that were hard to handle. It'd be a good night's reading if you've got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little more exciting, like UFOs or something. At a security warehouse? Is the panel a separate interactable? No. Take a look at that laptop. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out, just for a second. Is this where Maya Spin comes from? Is this what, she, is she actually? Oh, nice, I feel just like a CEO. Oh my fucking God. Holy shit, y'all. Holy fuck. It's really real, oh my, it actually, yeah, the laptop. Oh my God. <laughs> it's all coming together now. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Is this a moment? Moments are dead, chat. Twitch killed moments. Just enjoy this moment. Look at her go. We finally got there. <laughs> I was here. <laughs> we made it! Holy fuck. 
I feel just like a CEO. Wow, the sprite work on the DS is amazing, wasn't it? Oh god, she's back. Hey you! Whip me up a cup of some really expensive import tea and some scones! Move it! We got a moment. Hey, actually, I just earned a moment. Thanks, Gam. Does the moment include me saying moments are dead? <laughs> this is the life! Uh, I guess they're not killing them until early October. Fair enough. Oh yeah, well, good. Momentito. Thank you, chat. Thank you, ch thank you, chat. Thank you, ch thank you, chat. First and last moment, probably. Great work, everyone. We did it. Um, the victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. Uh, we were having a moment, Gumshoe. Eek. Eek the cat. Check out this big, thick binder here. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick. Reading a file isn't exactly backbreaking work, just a little hard on the eyes. Ah! Well, what did you find out, Nick? This file. It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about Mask the Mask. It's filled with info and about him. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Hey, Nick! Look at that last page. It's a list. Tier of Eminon, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Master Mask stole. Hey, Jay Opal. He admit nothing. Everything's normal. Normal here. It's good. Our moment's dead. Why is that a pull? No slash no. So then $100,000 is the value of the stolen item. I don't know, that number sounds kind of low to me. I think I better secretly make a copy of this list. Kane's list and a court record. 50-50 chat. This chat doing 50 chat is going for 50-50. Great work. Uh that's probably it. Alright, hey, what's up? Wait, hold on, hold on. Before we go any further, Gumshoe, allow me to present my badge. Take a look at my attorney's badge. He's still showing that cheap little thing off. The real man keeps his mouth shut and carries a suave police badge, pal. Fine. What do you think about the button? Detective Gumshoe, about this right here. Sorry, it's hard to believe, but there's a limit to how much my brain can hold. I got two ears and two eyes, but I only got one brain. I can see your eyes and the ears, but the jury's still out on the brain thing. Hey, Nick, if you have something to say, just come out and say it. No, I'm good. Yeah. You got taken away like a game ago. The, yeah, you got your, your badge. You were off the horse and fetching coffee for me. Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the Maida. Speak up, whore. Uh, okay, but the thing is, I'm really not supposed to. Thanks for the hydrate. Come on, how about, what about how we put our hearts into our work? Things are really working against us right now, and we need help. Oh, she's crying. Okay, I'll tell you. Just don't start crying on me, okay, pal? Me saying moments are dead made in the moment. Great. Perfect. Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. I'm not your pal, buddy. The victim's name is Kane Buller. He was CEO of KB Security and a pretty big fella in his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 a.m. this morning. His estimated time of death was 1 in the morning on October 12th. Chat with the perfect 50-50 for our moments dead no slash no. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Chat. We did it. Second moment, Dad. Now, cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Probably an object in this room. Happened at exactly the same time that Mask the Mask was stealing the urn, huh? They meant <laughs> two no's means a yes. Perfectly symmetrical no's. No, no, two symmetrical no's makes a noon. Can that time we tied the pole be another moment, Gam? No. No. Uh, autopsy report adds a court record. Great. Autopsy report in the court record. So why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Bullard's body was stashed away inside the safe. Ugh. Safe? Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, out he came. Just ragdoll physics out of it. So the body fell out. That white string must be the shape from when he fell out. Try to use that to determine, like, how he was stuffed in there. 
Yes. Moments are too precious to waste. Thank you, game. Clearly. I think we still need some more information about Mr. Billiard. Maybe you could start by getting the man's name right. It didn't let you claim the moment. Oh. If it helps, if it makes you feel any better, uh, Twitch is killing moments and they're going away in like a week. <laughs> uh, so what happened to Mask the Mask? And when you know what matters more than a stinking badge? The fact that you were here. Thank you for being here. But yo, look at them badges in the chat. Look how shiny they are. Let's go. Thank you, Twitch. Hit me with that FOMO. Let's go, baby. He's at the detention center screaming like a madman. Investigate me again, he keeps yelling. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean him. He's not the real thief anyway, right? Oh, you mean that detective at me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that was great. That guy got what he deserved. Ho, ho, ho. Now that the detective I kn Now that's the detective I know and love. Think about it. At me was always around when a calling card showed up. But he always mysteriously disappeared when the heist took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was the thief. That would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen item he keeps bragging about. Yeah, he just did that to make himself look like a great detective, that's all. But there's this one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the Tear of Eminon case. There was a witness on that one. A witness? Here, I saved the newspaper clipping. Since the thief is already under arrest, you guys can keep it. Uh-oh. Did we get the wrong man? The gem and the thief stolen? Not clickbait. This guard here, haven't I seen him somewhere before? Is that Larry? It's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but now that she mentions it... Newspaper clipping out of the court record. The precious gem, the tear of Eminem, was the target of last night's robbery. Priceless, stolen. It's Mo. Oh. Looks like I stumbled upon the scene of a crime. Oh, that prosecutor. I really don't like that guy. The way he used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight. Yeah, I think he did that way. He did it that way just because he knew it'd hurt more. That's what my gut tells me anyway. So who is that Java-addicted masked maniac anyway? Prosecutor Godot, he's quite the enigma, huh? The thing is, pal, I never even heard of the guy before. He just showed up one day at the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. That's right. He said this was his first case as a prosecutor. Hmm. You're not seeing an OnlyFans link in my About section? Still working on that. But thanks for the interest. And it's true! According to the records, anyway, but... No way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in court. A maverick that give me goosebumps. A maverick what give me the goosebumps? Goosebumps? You? Yeah. I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe. I had no idea you were so unpopular. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. That Godot guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. Pictures of ceiling and box fans. Mm -hmm. Some very good. Maybe uh, the occasional space heater as well. I get the feeling he's hiding some kind of dark secret. Okay, go downstairs. Yep. October 13th, KB Security, Security Guard Office. This is elaborate. Wow. This is really something else. For a security guard office, sure doesn't feel very secure. KB Security Guard. Oh, I just remembered Larry might be. Hey, Nick, what's up? Now, L Larry would do the, what's up? Because it's like you know, 2000 something. So he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Larry, please don't be weird. Too late! Hi, Larry. Here, I was working my fingers to the bone. And in and in walks an angel. I've got no problems with a daytime date. It's all good. That's not what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? What is it? Hmm, well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya, but Nick here is a different story. But Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. That was then and this is now. Um. Um. 
Um, I'm not call it. Wait, shit. I didn't think this through. I just, I'm just trying to look around, chat. Uh, Maya, no! Get out of the- No, Maya, get out of Larry's chair. Damn it, Maya. No, she's doing it again. Okay, this bet wasn't worth it. Uh, I had to add her to that scene. Uh, look at that jacket. Hey, Larry! That's your jacket, isn't it? That's right. Um, did you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never, ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffed at me. That gift is so bad. It's a great gift. Is that a moment? Something terrible will happen if you do. Got it, Greenhorn? So why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because it got me curious. If the jacket's weight pulls the lever down, that's what they call an accident. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen, huh? It's true. It's killing me too! What about you, Nick? Yeah, but for a different reason. Eh. Something's written on this poster in fine print. A guard's five commandments. Wow, this sounds serious. Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. I wonder who wrote this. Two, respect thy superior. I wonder who wrote this. Three, smile at thy superior. I wonder who wrote this. Four, salute thy superior. Salute thy shorts. Five, buy donuts for thy superior upon command. Four, no unions. It's here. It's signed. Oh, fucking court. Wendy Oldbag, head supervisor. Maybe they just wanted to reference her, but she's not actually in the game. Maybe she's not actually- we're not gonna talk to her. She's one tough old bird, let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with a real genuine ray gun. She kept the ray gun? Sounds scary, all right. Well, fortunately she's on vacation. No, she's on vacation, chat. She's not here. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. Holy fuck, we're safe. Oh my god, they just had to throw in a reference at least. Wow, take a look at these things here. Hey, hey, Larry, what are they? Hmm. Did you say hmm? Hey, man, it's not like I have to know what they are what they are to do my job. For now. I always thought they were just some kind of decoration or something. Oh, boy. You know who else is on uh, uh, vacation? Miles. If Miles shows up, we have to be very, very careful. How did this guy ever get a job here, anyway? What's with all the fast food? Those screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on these too? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey Maya, I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. I know what you're thinking! It was a professional investigation, alright? Thanks, Larry. That's my partner's seat. Your partner? When we get on a first name basis. Well, you know. He does he uses Miles to get on the plane. Buy the ticket. Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. There's tea spilled all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. But it still works fine, more or less. They really know how to build them, I guess. He drinks chocolate milk at his security job. That's amazing. That's my workstation. Pretty cool, huh? I keep a steady eye on the monitors and use that mic for communicating. Look at all this equipment. It must be hard to operate. No biggie. I think there's an instruction manual somewhere in this room. Somewhere. Instruction manual? What are you gonna do in an emergency? Well, I guess I'd start by calmly looking for the instruction manual. During that time, my partner, the old lady, would calmly look for her reading glasses. That's what us security professionals call teamwork. Even my impulse to run this place better. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? He didn't say that out loud. Uh, okay. Hi, Larry. Good info. 
So what's this good info you're talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard, a pro. I can't just give away information for free. He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, honest? Can you talk to him, Maya? Larry, tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kitten has got some claws. If you say that, you should be thrown into a gorge. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, so tell me. Okay, so the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. And naturally, since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. Follow me? Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired. And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. You can only say that if it's an actual kitten. And even then, it's kind of a weird way to say that. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten fired like that. Like maybe skipping out on work to go pick up some hot chicks or something. No, that's just you. Security guard. I regret getting Larry acquitted. So what's it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me, I get by all right, I guess. First, I have to keep my eye on those monitors all the time. Monitors? There are security cameras set in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like my eyes are gonna fall out. Oh. And if I see something sus, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? The security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. But I'm no amateur either, so if, something, so if it's something small, I can't bother calling them. So in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. The night of the crime. You were in this office when the murder took place, weren't you? Why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment, and I'm dumb! Even if it is part-time, and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here! Give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me! That's not fair, Nick! Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. He's aware. He is aware. Anyway, the point is that you were here that night, right? God damn it, Larry. God damn it, Larry. I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Well, it's like I always say, that was then and this is now, okay? Looks like I'm gonna have to break his psych lock after all. Alright. Fuck you, Larry. Let's get in there. Let's get into his brain and scramble it up. He was a hopeless romantic, not a sleazebag. He had sleazebag tendencies? From what I remember, he was still very much of the objectifying women type, but he wasn't full-blown sleazebag. He wasn't a good guy, but he wasn't this fucking bad. He's always as far as a rock, right? Yeah. Hopeless romantic idiot. Yeah, maybe. I feel like he'd be a little bit harsher than that, but not to this extent. Uh, the Night of the Crime. How you doing? Still on the lovable side, sure. Yeah. Yeah, he's fun. He's also smart. He made a thinker clock, remember? Yeah. Forgot that he made that. He's the reason that all these games have clocks and statues in them. All the cases. On the night of the crime, were you working hard like you were supposed to? Wh huh? Uh, of course I was. Why wouldn't I have been? Didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Uh, but that was that. That was that, and this is this. Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night, too? Never. I didn't sneak out. I tell you what, I'll even bet you a dollar. A dollar? Wow. Now that's confidence. What's with that drenched in your rain drenched in the rain puppy look on your face? Do you have evidence that I left my position or are you just pulling my chain? Evidence that Larry was not manning his station. Um Could it be the wallet he found? He could have seen that on a camera, I guess. Was he found? Three hundred punch onto the head. Newspaper clipping. Yeah. Do 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 bo do bo do 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 do. Um. I don't know if I have the evidence. I'm gonna do a loop around the other location to see if there's anything new. But if not, then I'll come back and I'll yell at him. Show him my badge! Hey, bud. Nope. Um... What do you think about Larry? 
What do you think about this person? Sorry, pal. To be honest, my head is so full right now, it feels like it's gonna burst. Note to self, keep hair away from Gumshoe's head. Mm -hmm. Uh... Actually, wait. Do you have any thoughts about Mr. Bullard? Tell us more about Mr. Shane Bluebard. That's Kane Bullard, not Shane Bluebard, pal. Oh yeah, the victim in this case just doesn't make much of an impression on me. Well, you were the victim up until Mr. Bullard was found dead. Yeah, and his body wasn't discovered till this morning. Anyway, we don't have enough information yet. Can you help us out? Sorry, I'm actually a little confused myself. For some reason, I'm just blabbing like an idiot right now. Okay, Nick, now's our chance to get more info about the victim, so hurry up and ask. Oh. Like, actually? Oh, actually. Cool. Uh, can you tell us some more about Mr. Bullard? He was the CEO of KB Security, right? What kind of company is it, anyway? Well, the company basically sends security teams out to buildings to guard them. Mr. Bullard must have had the chance to learn a lot of secrets doing this kind of work. And? And, I don't know how to put this, but the guy was kind of a money grubber. Really? Me too! I just love money! Can't ever get enough! Please stop leaning in towards me like that. You aren't getting to my wallet. Anyway, it looks like he did some pretty shifty stuff to earn his millions. So that's my problem. I think I need to be shiftier. Let me go already. Apparently he was involved in selling trade secrets between rival companies. Oh, that's pretty dirty and underhanded. Yeah. Oh, KB Security used to head security operations against Mask to Mask. Really? Yeah, and after screwing up so many times, the company's reputation really took a nosedive. So it really was Bullard who sent Ron the blackmail letter. Huh. Okay. That's all we're probably gonna get out of him. I wonder if, um... The detention center is occupied now. Nope! Hey, chat, do I have the evidence I need? Am I being a foregore? Hmm. Hmm. Doubt there's anything new here. Hmm. I guess I haven't been back here yet. Do you even have to ask? Well, that's fair. October 13th. The treasures of Crane exhibit is all ruined now. Maya. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This was our big chance for everyone to learn about spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer up somehow. You think that having a uh, several trials, specifically the Crane trial, would have put them on the map? Man murdered by... Like... Secret society of women who can channel the dead. And it's real, and we can prove it. Seems like that would get some attention. Ghosts aren't real anymore. Dang it. On the map of where not to go. <laughs> it was all fake, so that doesn't help. Well, it wasn't all fake. It also keeps happening in the courtroom every time Mia shows up. Well, now that we've got the sacred urn back, maybe they can reopen it. Really? Yeah, we proved that ghosts were real in court. Maybe we can label it the urn of Mask to Mask's desires. That'd probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa! 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 That's brilliant, Nick! Yes, I do have the Cyclock evidence. Okay, thank you, Oswald. We could clean up and be filthy rich. Woohoo! Wow, that was surprisingly easy. I'm gonna swing by the basement real quick. And then we'll swing back over to Larry. October 13th, Lordly Taylor Basement Warehouse. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright! Miss Andrews. What's she still hanging around down here for? Uh, so, how's it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that! It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? Do you mean it's been found? Yes. It was brought in during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Mas Damask's wife that found it. Well, anyway, I'm... I'm so relieved. Doo -doo, beep, boop, bop, boop, beep, beep. It's really satisfying seeing how... 
happy and expressive she is now since the last case with her. Damascus Identity. I just heard all about it on the news. So that detective was actually the thief all along. Looks that way right now. Does she know? I would take her out to the movies and see her laugh at a comedy. <laughs> it's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring the mask to guard the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick, if she wants to apologize, you should let her. So, when was it that you'd hire Detective at me again? About 20 days ago. And when was it that Mask the Mask's calling card arrived? That was about 10 days ago. So he sent a calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it then. Detective at me must have really wanted the secret urn after all. I guess so. But how come every previous time he's alert, he's let them alert the authorities? And this time he was like, no, 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 I got this. It's weird. The night of the crime. What? So Master Mask murdered someone as well? Uh, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I thought that he was here stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything's possible. Nick, let's get down to business already. On the night of the theft. Did you notice anything sus about Detective Atme? No, I couldn't have. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. He claims that the that he claims that's the way he always operates. That's just what he says so he can have an alibi when he commits the thefts himself. Yeah, well, he was caught on the crime scene photo dressed up as Mask the Mask pretty well. The urn. I'm so glad that you got your sacred urn back. Yeah, there's still something that's bothers that bothers me about it. What is it? Not exactly sure, but somehow the urn that came back seems different. Really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? Uh, no, I don't know anything. Why would I? Uh huh. What did you do to the urn, Adrian? What do you think this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Okay, just gonna, just gonna do this real quick. Just gonna give this a little go. I shit in the urn, fine, I admit it. And I bought a replacement urn from Home Depot, I didn't think you'd notice. Doesn't look like anything's different down here. All right, take a look at this Magatama. Still stands Risa Hawkeye, you're not wrong. I don't know if you saw her in the last game, dear, but her, her top was blue. So it even further reinforced that she looked like Riza from Full Metal Alchemist. The Sacred Urn! Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the Sacred Urn? Uh, do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today. It's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's... that's, uh, true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be. It could be a fake. A fake? You're the one who said it wasn't the same, so that's the most obvious explanation. Do you have any evidence the urn that was submitted at the trial was genuine? Um... Well, I don't have the urn itself anymore because Pearls took it. So... No? Other than this? What do you mean, evidence that the urn submitted was genuine? That's proving a net- yeah, I'm like... Huh? Uh... 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 Um... Well, I might as well- I don't- I won't take that much damage. So look at this. Well, Miss Andrews? See, look, it was a fake after all. Huh? I mean, your evidence is fake too, as I expected. I guess this isn't gonna help me much. No. Yeah, maybe Pearls needs to come. That's That makes sense. Alright, goodbye. I'm going back to Larry. See you later. Yeah, once Pearl comes back, she'll probably be like, Wow, oh no. I forgot I don't know how to read. Beep, boop, bop, weep, boop, bop. Yes, uh, uh, hello. Can you play that song again? 
The one that goes beep boop bop beep boop bop beep boop boop bop boop boop. No, no, you mean beep boop 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 boop. I'm a little ahead. Never mind. You can also defeat Adrian. Never mind. Gotcha. Have a Magatama. Nuts. I am as happy that Adrian is doing well that I am upset that Larry is doing okay. I feel that, Squeaks. Anyway, uh, another crime. Of course I was. Do you have proof? A dollar. Evidence that Larry was not manning a station when the murder happened. Is the fact that he found the wallet at 1 a.m.? I, I don't know how he found it, so... He definitely could have seen it on camera, but... I guess that's right. This wallet, you know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Liar! You hand-delivered this wallet to Miss Delight just yesterday. I was there. Give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. What time was it when you found this wallet? I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. Switching to Firefox, let me get my poo bonus. Nice line. One o'clock in the morning. That's right. In other words, Larry. Soup. Soup. At the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. Drinking soup. Ah! Yeah, but there's something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start till 10 p.m. The murderer must might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murderer had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of the guy whose shift was before mine. Why well, I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this. Listen up, Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift. Yeah. The wallet was also a clock. When you use this key card, does it, I don't know, leave a record like you told me that it does? Yeah, it does. But I can't show the record to just anyone, you know. That key card data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that's supposed to go through me. Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from the part-time guard? Anyway, according to the data, the, go the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way! Yes, way. Someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Ooh! Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. Gar! No! Got him. Hooray. Lawyer restored. The night of the crime. Ooh-wee, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault! Larry, there was nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What happened that night anyway? My Donna happened. Huh? Your Donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my Donna called and said I have to talk to you right away. So I went to see her and... He was standing right there next to her. Uh, who was? Her new boyfriend. It was like some horrible joke. Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser. Normally, I'm the one that does the punching. Isn't that right, Maya? Uh, yeah. So is that why you left the security guard office? Uh, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. How can I ever make up for it, Nick? What can I do? Oh. He's curled up on the floor. Crying like a baby. No, oh boy. Nick! Is there anything I can do? Anything, just name it! I'll do whatever I have to do to make up for it. I swear I will. Larry. Hey, Nick. As long as he's offering, why don't you show him the evidence we've got? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. Nick! Which evidence is she talking about? Um... This? Um, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right. Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya. Stop. 
Huh? Go ahead, Maya. Press the buzzer in your heart. It went, eh. I promise I'll come running to your rescue like the professional guard I am. Wow, that was pretty good. <laughs> thanks, I tried. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. Maya is 19. And, and Larry is... Maya's 19. Larry is 25. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, it's not great. He's just kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> it was, uh, you know... So, uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's just... His vibe. Uh... Sling is seven years old. It's Larry. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it since my was seven. Yeah, exactly. Um, what else we got? Nope. Shit. Wait, oh. I can talk to him about the buzzer. Shit. It's bad enough Pearl does it, but Pearl's at least a child, so it's like, oh, ho, ho. Calm down, little one. Go nart run back to the mountain village. But, you know. I accidentally pressed this buzz earlier. Yeah, I heard it. Cause that was you, huh? You're security guard, aren't you? Why didn't you come to the CEO's office? Well, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to um adopt a wait and see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. Uh, let's get back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true? The buzzer didn't go off that night. There must be a record, right? You must have had a, a look at it, right? Of course I did, and I couldn't possibly have made a mistake either. Do you think you could take just one more look for me, pretty please? Oh, okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. What do you think, Nick? He's probably right. I don't think even Larry can make a mistake like that. Wah! What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake! Huh? But how? It can't be. It's impossible. Okay, enough already. What about the records? That night, it went off just once in the morning at around 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? That's when the murder happened. We, we know, Maya. Really? Are you serious? That's terrible. It can't be. Buzzer record added to court record. Great. Nice. Thank you for the bits. I'm mad about all this. You guys have really made me reflect on the way I've been living. But the only problem is with all this reflecting, where is the time for love? Frankly, I think reflecting is a bit overrated, you know? But what are you going on about, Larry? Plus, do you honestly have any new info on the buzzer record? The record? Uh, no, nothing at all. This guy reflects about as much as a piece of black carpeting. Larry is promptly fired out of a cannon. Into the sun. Thank you for the bed squeaks and that was much. I appreciate it. The buzzer went off at 1 or 2 a.m. All right. Let's go show us the, the gumshoe, I guess. Hey, buddy. Guess we learned. Detective Gumshoe about this right here. Sorry, I don't have a brain today. Okay, fine. Um, what do I do with this? That's not gonna help me with Adrian. Just like Ron Delight. Hey. They was gonna choose to murder you and he was there. Sure. Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe now, maybe now I can talk to Ron again? Um... If there's something I'm still missing at the... Yeah, there it is. There it is. All this game really needs is every now and then... I mean, it's fine. It's... it's In this in this case, there aren't too many locations, so it's not that big a deal, but... It's still a pet peeve of mine that they don't really... Like, once in the series, they're like, Hey, I think we're done here. Let's go back to so-and-so. Most of the time, they just kind of leave you to wander around until you stumble upon the new thing, but... Anyway. Mr. Wright! Mr. Delight, did they finish their interrogation? Yes, but... Please don't leave me alone anymore! 
Mr. Delight, your theme is a jam. You lied to us before, didn't you? Well, uh, you see... On the same night, the sacred urn was stolen from Lordly Taylor Department Store. A blackmail letter you got summoned you to KB Security to hand over some money. And then, that's where the CEO, Kane Bullard, was murdered. But there's only one Ron Delight. Am I right? You don't have an identical twin, do you? Please, Ron, please. The only question is, where were you that night? This time I want to hear the whole truth. Your life depends on it. Okay. Ron, nice to meet you. I'm an attorney. What do you think about this? Hmm. I don't really think I can help you with that. No, that's not it. It's just that the thing is, I don't really know if I can say one way or the other. I didn't really catch that. Don't worry. You didn't miss anything. I can't help you with that. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. No one can help me with that. Let's talk. Let's jam. He's a cinnamon roll. Mr. Delight, do you still insist that you are Mask Star Damask? Isn't that what I've been saying since yesterday? That was a quick response. Tell me about it. To be honest, it's starting to get irritating. But listen, Mr. Delight, at the trial today, we learned the true identity of the thief, didn't we? He 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 ha hoo ho ha hoo he hoo ha ho ha ha. This is very good sprites. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genes, I was forced to create one by myself. Ha <laughs> ha, here I am, the tragic clown. Ah. I guess it's true. I wasn't the one who stole that urn. Of course not. After all, you were at KB Security at the time. So then the person dressed up as Mask to Mask in this photo, it's gotta be Detective Atme. The night of the crime. I am Pogliatmi. So that night, you didn't go to Lordly Taylor, you went to KB Security, right? Yes, I went to KB Security at the time the blackmail note said I should. All right, what happened next? Well, I used to work there, so I knew where the CEO's office was. I knocked, but there was no answer. So then I used the key card to unlock the door. That's probably when he dropped his wallet. When I went into the CEO's office, someone was in there. Someone? Then suddenly they bashed me over the head. Bam! It's like poetry, it rhymes. Was it Kane Bullard that hit you? I don't know. The person ran away while I was still stunned. When I came to my senses, the sight I saw left me speechless. Oh. The dead body of the CEO was right there in front of me. I thought I'd die myself. Was he strangled with his own necktie? That's what it looks like. Anyway, I thought I should do something with the body. So that's why you put it in the safe? Yes, that's right. Huh? I used to be the chief of one of the security teams, so I knew how to open it. Okay, and what did you do after that? Well, I got out of there for starters. I was the one who set up the security cameras in that building. So I knew how to avoid being spotted by them. Nick. All of a sudden, Mr. Delight sounds kind of like the murderer to me. Please don't say that. Why, why are you, why are you the way that you are? Mr. Delight. Is it true that one year ago, you were forced to quit KB security? How did you? I'm begging you, please don't tell Desi, please. Don't worry, we haven't told anyone yet. Phew, thank goodness. Uh, no, I, um, I suppose I'll have to tell her sometime. She'll find out eventually. Why have you been hiding it from her anyway? Desi would despise me if she ever found out I was living a life of crime. A criminal, a thief, she'd never forgive me. My marriage would be over. Knowing that, why did you become a thief in the first place? Because Desi spends money like it's water. There's no job in the world that could bring in enough money, except being a thief. At least, that's what I thought, anyway. So he became Master Mask for Desiree, huh? Such a precious boy. Odd one, this one. Okay. Um... The buzzer? The buzzer went off just once around the time that Bullard was killed. Ooh, that's scary. Do you know anything about that, Mr. Delight? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't. Why am I not surprised by how clueless he is anymore? 
Hey, this is an article about my debut heist. Boy, that was a tough one. Before I knew it, they were hot on my trail. But Master Mask, he must have gotten away, right? It says in the article that he disappeared. That's right. I got a sudden burst of inspiration. I hid my Master Mask costume in a nearby plastic bucket. Then I quickly changed it to my security guard uniform. Pretty clever, eh? God damn it. I mean, that that's not bad. That's not bad. Awesome. Hey, hold the phone. The guard in this photo. Is this you, Mr. Delight? Hee <laughs> hee, that's right. Nice trick if I do say so myself. So he is Master Mask? Nice and easy to figure out. Even pearls can see through that in a heartbeat. Clipping updated. As you might expect, Detective Atme found the disguise. He truly deserves the title of Ace Detective. Detective Atme found the Master Mask disguise. That's interesting. What a competent thief. And I heard that he brought it home with him. So that's it. That's when Atme got his hands on this. Thanks to that, I got the chance to remake my costume. That must have been really time consuming, huh? Yes, it took quite a while to complete. Anyway, a few days after that, I received the first of the blackmail letters. Blackmail letters? What are you talking about? Hurry, tell me what you mean. Hey, calm down. Don't get so worked up. Yeah, letters plural. This blackmail letter, is this the first one you got? No, of course not. What do you mean, of course not? But this is the first one that ever called me out to a specific location. So did you start receiving the blackmail letters after this incident? Yes, just a few days after the Tear of Eminon heist. That first letter, it said, I know you did it. So someone found out about your true identity, just like that? Ah, uh, it's not easy being a master thief, you know. I've got proof that it was you, so give up. It went on to say, so in the end, I had to give up the treasure I went through all that trouble to steal. Is that right? Hey, hang on a second. What do you mean you had to give it up? Oh, don't worry. After I put the jewel in the safe deposit box, the letter specified, someone sent me $10,000. The fuck is going on in this case? No one say anything about me being worried, you know. No, I'm worried. After that, I started getting the plans in the mail. It was a Nigerian prince. Plans? P heist plans? What are these plans you're talking about? Now, now I went from being cons concerned and confused, thinking at me is himself. I was like, okay, so at me is 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 mask the mask. No, no, Ron actually is mask the mask, but. Luke at me was impersonating him for some other ulterior motives and I went back from like now I'm back to suspi being suspicious of him that like he got the costume I'm assuming that it's Luke who's blackmailing him now and is like has some weird plot where he's blackmailing the real master mask and pretending to be master mask in order to do some I don't know I don't know. I don't know. There were instructions on how to steal a crown or painting or some other rare treasure. They showed security blind spots, escape routes, and even suggested training methods. You mean the one who planned the heists wasn't you? No, it wasn't. I only planned the very first one. After that, I received plans from some very kind person. Incredibly detailed plans. Someone who, I don't know, is smart and obsessive about these kinds of things. Sounds like Mr. Delight is thankful to the person that was blackmailing him. Yeah. A little bit. So Ron Delight was masked the mask after all, but someone else is behind the theft. Someone who planned it all out in detail. Huh. All I had to do was deposit the treasures I stole into the safe deposit box. Then I just waited for the cash to come in the mail. Could you try not to look so gleeful about it? So you went after the sacred urn because of one of those planes too? Well, see, truth is, I've never seen the urn. All I did was follow the instructions and steal what I was told to steal. Mr. Delight, is everything you've just told me the truth? Yes, but please don't tell Desi, okay? Ron's testimony had the court record. Ron, before we go, there's one more thing I want to ask you. Yes, but please don't hurt me. Mr. Kane Bullard, do you swear that it wasn't you who killed him? Yes, of course. I could never. I'm not lying. All I did was hide his body in the safe. 
But then I was afraid they'd discover what I did, so I turned myself in yesterday. Um, why? Well, if the judge had ruled that I was guilty of robbery, then I'd have an alibi, right? Hmm, I guess so. You're really clever, Mr. Delight. I guess I have no choice but to take Mr. Delight at his word. Mystic Maya! Hey! Pearly! I'm back! She sprinted all the way back to Korean Village and then back to the city. In like an hour. Hey, Pearls, so what have you been up to this whole time? The sacred urn, Mr. Nick. I took it back to Crane Village to have it examined. And, and, what did you find out? Well, there's no need to worry. They said it's the real urn. What did Adrian do? Phew! That's a relief. I was really worried. But, there's one small problem. Problem? Um, these cute little pink splotches. They said that it's paint, and that they were put on the urn recently. Why are we talking about the pink splotches again? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? We gotta find out how they got there. That's the big deal. Yes, Mr. Nick, we gotta find out how they got there. Okay, okay, well, go find out how they got there. Please don't forget about me. Sacred urn refiled into the court record. Why did it say sacred urn returned to the court? Come on, shoot Takumi and localizers. Do I gotta do everything for you? All right, bye, Ron. See you later. Returned. Exactly. Um. Hey, Desi, check this out. Do you want to check out Ron's testimony? <laughs> Excuse me, would you take a look at this? Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't the faintest idea. I guess I just don't get out enough. All right, fine. I guess I can't ruin your marriage today. All right, bye. Uh, move. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Okay, I think I have to go back to the law offices and then can go back to the gallery. Uh, yeah. To the basement. She's been too busy shopping. Yeah. Muffled city escape from that. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, October 13th. Oh, Pearl. How nice to see you. Hello there! I haven't seen you around lately. What have you been up to? Well, actually, I was having this urn examined. Oh, I see. Maybe we take another good look at this urn. We can figure out the mystery of what actually happened here. Nick, let's look around one more time. Alright. Um. This is one of my favorite themes in these games. It's the oh shit rat jam theme. Covered pink splotches, but it's the genuine article. Maybe I should look at these pink splotches what are on the ground. Didn't they say these were days old? I mean, I guess she's had the urn for at least 20 days, so. Try and destroy marriage. It looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something sus about this paint mark. The bottom left part of it's shaped oddly and it's shockingly pink. It's the same color as the paint splotches on the urn. So then the question is, what's the cause of the odd shape? Let's look around here carefully, Mr. Nick. I don't know, what could be kind of cuboid in nature? I thought it was related to the statue before, but at least this is from the box. This box! There's something about it that's bothering me. That's the box the sacred urn was in. It looks like there's some pink paint on it too. And it's definitely the same color as the stuff on the urn. I think I know how the paint got on it now. All right, let's investigate again, Nick. Earn box adds a court record. Investigate again, meaning look at this again. Looks to me like it's been dry for several days. There's something sus about this paint mark. Bottom left part of it's shaped oddly and it's shocking pink. Mr. Nick, could it be this odd shape is? Yeah, pretty sure this is it. That's the box the sacred urn was in. If you look here, there's a little bit of paint on the box as well. You're right. Look, it matches. A Splatfest went down here. What is it, Mr. Nick? This is all turning out exactly as I thought it would. He's never said that before. Paint marks added to court record. I think it's all starting to become clear. We're that much closer to solving the mystery of what happened to the urn. But now we need to talk to 
Adrian about it. I literally panned over on the bottom screen and was like, where's Adrian? I didn't look at the top screen, chat. I'm good. Um, eh, I might as well save. I was like, as long as I don't mess up more than half, we're fine. Nick can surprise you, sometimes. The insmartening of Phoenix Wright. Actually, anything new to talk about? Nope. What do you think of this? Take a look at this. I like Adrian more than Desiree. Your feelings are noted. Miss Andrews, do you know anything about the sacred urn? Do I know anything? I'm in charge of the entire treasure exhibit. The urn that was submitted before the court today, it's obviously not the same urn as before. Well, that's true. Maybe it isn't the same. It could be a fake. You're the one who said it wasn't the same? That's obvious. Do you have any evidence the urn that was submitted was genuine? Yeah, the urn. That apparently is genuine. Sorry to break it to you, but the urn is the genuine article. Pearls went back to Crane Village and had it examined. Is that right? That's nice, but I don't see how... What she discovered was that the vase was broken again. Uh, I thought she, like, weirdly decided to fix it up, but no. Okay, so Adrian accidentally broke the urn and put it back together, but put it back together professionally and correctly. That's amazing. <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't thinking stupid enough. I wasn't thinking stupid enough. It was broken once a year ago, and now it looks like the same thing has happened. And quite recently, too. R recently? Are you saying that this urn was broken recently? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Breaking something twice fixes it. H why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Um... Huh? How do I know it was recent? M maybe that's the exhibit poster? Because it looked like this before? Did you say she was good at pottery? She might have. A clock broken twice a day is right four times a day. So just keep breaking it until it's back to normal. Uh, well, it's cracked there. How do I prove that it was recent? Is it the paint? The box on the other thing. Box has pink space. Is it the painters? I mean, I can. I can take the hit, because I'll refill half my health. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Wright. Huh? Why do you think it was broken recently again? Uh, well, because, um, I just think so. Sorry, that's not a valid explanation. Yeah, the hunter has become the hunted. Hmm. So you still do the exploding glasses thing? Not that I've seen. It was broken recently. Come on, you know it. I'm not willing to yield to you on this point. Get a grip, please. Now, I'll ask you one more time, Mr. Wright. Why do you think it was broken recently? How do you know? Am I just supposed to present the urn again? No. Was my first guess correct? That I'm supposed to just present the poster? Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. This poster was made recently, right? Poster? Ah, the poster for the exhibit. At the time when this photo was taken, the urn said, I am on it. But now for some mysterious reason, it says Ami. When the urn was fixed, the letters were transposed. Ah! Be nice if her glasses exploded with the cyclock. I am? What does that even mean? I don't know anything about that. I wasn't even there when the photo for this poster was taken. That was a mistake. Now, tell the truth. Uh, well, wait! For? Even if the urn was broken, I had nothing to do with it. Huh? Yes, that's it. It must have been one of the people at the photo shoot. They probably dropped it. I'm sure that's what happened. It looks like I still haven't broken the entire cyclock. Do you have any proof the urn was broken here at Lordly Taylor? That's the paint. Well, Miss Andrews? What is this supposed to mean? There's pink paint all over this urn. Yeah. And there's pink paint all over the floor and walls of this basement warehouse. In other words, this urn was broken there. Right there. I'm pointing there. You can't weasel out of this one, Miss Andrews. But... Uh-oh. She's trying to make her escape. But you can get pink paint anywhere. There's none in my office, that's for sure. 
Well, there is in my room. Liar. Anyway, the paint's on the urn and the paint's on the floor. There's no proof that it's the same paint. Come on, this is getting ridiculous. The proof link in the paint on the urn and the paint on the floor is the box. What's in the box? It's urn and paint. The urn was stored in this, right? Yes, that's right. Well, there's pink paint on the box as well. Ah! I think you already know where I'm going with this, don't you? More or less. The paint on the floor has, been, has an odd shape imprinted in it, doesn't it? Yes. If you put this box into the impression in the paint, you can see it fits perfectly. What's in the box, Adrian? Which means this box was dropped right there. And that is when the urn was broken. Your name does you justice, Mr. Wright. Got her. Look at Maya's shoddy box. Hooray. Lawyer restored. Dark Souls text. Sacred urn. I'm so sorry. I was the one who broke the urn. Eh, join the line. Boys make me feel like some sort of evil school teacher. I'm a terrible person. Not only did I break it, but I tried to hide what I did. Well, that's not so hard to understand, is it, Pearly? No, not at all. I know just how she feels. Nick slowly does become more and more confident. Yeah, he does. Sad Steel Samurai's back. It happened about two weeks ago. Just after the poster photo was taken on the same day the urn arrived here. I thought I'd put it away down here for safekeeping. I was carrying it in the box. Whoa! When I tripped on a paint can and lost my balance, the box I was carrying crashed to the ground. Smash! At least it wasn't default pottery noise, that wav. I heard a terrible noise and I thought my heart was going to stop. Fearing the worst, I opened the lid of the box and that's when it happened. It <laughs> Just back to back. Oh shit. Oh god. Is the box okay? Just everything falling on the fucking. God damn it, Adrian. You used to have your shit together, girl. The broken pieces of the urn fell out of the box and landed right in the paint. She just like me for real. I was in shock and let out a huge scream. Good work. I can totally see how that could have happened. <laughs> Maya's not even, it's just a sacred family heirloom. She's like, yeah, no, that checks out. Yeah, as clumsy as she is, I'm sure Maya understands. This is going to result in Pearl fessing up about her breaking it, and Maya's going to be like, you did what? We're taking this outside. I knew it was the most important treasure in all of Crane Village, so I tried as hard as I could to fix it. Fortunately, the shards were pretty big. And that's when the I Am got changed to Ami. Thank you for the bits. I didn't know how it was originally written, but any sane person fixing it would have assumed it said Ami. Any sane person? Really? Ah, oh, Pearls. You're an illiterate nine-year-old. It's fine. She said she wasn't very good at spelling. Anyway, I put the urn into the storeroom and no one had seen it since. Sacred urn updated. Updated urn repaired. There's something I just don't get. When we first came here, I didn't see any paint stains. Well, that's because it was so ugly and embarrassing. I used the golden statue to cover it. The Ami Face statue. Aha! The statue. People don't respond to the 15. Even then. Barely. The first time we came down here, it was on the night that the sacred urn was stolen. But Mr. Nick, there were no paint marks on the walls or floor of the warehouse when we were here. Well, there's a good reason for that. On the day of the crime around noon, that golden statue just happened to arrive from the mountain training hall. And? I realized that the statue would be the perfect size for covering up the paint stains. That's why I put it where you first saw it. I see. Now it makes perfect sense. Why don't you try to clean up the paint? There's still one thing I find strange, says the smartest person in the room. What is it, Pearl? The day after the urn was stolen, we came here again. At that time, the statue had been moved and the paint was clearly visible. She's right about that. Well, Miss Andrews? Huh, what? I, uh, I don't know anything about that. Don't show me any more Cyclops. I placed it there to cover the paint. Why would I move it again? Well, then who was it? Who would have done it and why? Not knowing complicated kanji makes more sense for a nine-year-old. Yeah. 
Yeah. They really do pearl di dirty with the translation. On the day before the theft, the statue was definitely closer to the door. Then the next day, it was moved. But why? Golden statue updated. Hmm. It looks like there's some connection between the sacred urn and the murder case. Why? Why do you think so, Nick? Because that night, the real thief, Ron Delight, was at KB Security. So then why did another Master Mask show up here? A lot of different things are pointing to one undeniable fact. One undeniable fact? The murder trial is starting tomorrow. It looks like that thief is going to be making another appearance. You might have some Dark Souls text for me. To be continued! Wait, hold on. Love that little jingle. Ah, uh, yeah, wait, let me, let me get you. Let me, let me get you, Bryce. Bryce, there you go. What you got for me? Excellent. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, uh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, where the, what? no, wait, hold on, wait, bam, just put it over there, eh, perfect, now I just need the, um, what's the, the, the Dark Souls, um, uh, new area sound effect. Wait, shit, it's muted. Fuck. Well, it's not a new area noise, is it? It's supposed to be, like, boss. Whatever, it's fu You get the fucking meme. Lawyer restored. Yeah, humanity restored. That's what I should have looked up. I know what I'm doing. That's not what I wanted either. Well, that's fine. Anyway, uh, lawyer restored or swish. Wham. Did it. The itty bitty text says, um, you have regained your badge. Bring more evidence. Slayer of lies. Which is very good. Th thank you. Um, anywho, um, uh, I know we're only at four and a half hours in the stream, and I do genuinely feel fine. My arms are feeling a little sore, but I'm otherwise fine. But I feel like there's probably a lot of court left, and uh, I don't really want to run super late tonight. Um, so maybe this is really, we'll come back to this next time. Uh, I did think it'd be nice to try to get through all of case two today, but I get the sense that this court trial is going to be a doozy. So, yeah, probably, probably going to call it here. Um, joke restored. Yeah. But, um, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm gonna get caught up on alerts and stuff. In case too long, it seems like it might be. And I don't want to be pushing real late tonight. Uh, I gotta rest up. Give time for the nano machines to proliferate, plur proliferate through my bloodstream. Uh, that's a word that I'm good at saying. Here you go, chat. Um. Better doing one chunk of this time. That's kind of what I'm thinking. <laughs> Maybe a little loud. Get that boar killing. Ooh, healing boar gore. Not a bad idea. Uh, Everybody thinks for bits. So glad the plant's alive. Charlie's the main character of the game. Finding ways to keep chat waiting for Godot. But we're, we don't have to wait. We got Barista now. Now whenever you're waiting, you can... There he, there he is. What a week, huh? Still a second case. I need to, I need to bring that back. Uh, shake it for me. This, 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 this one. Uh, uh, bam. There we go. I'll bring that back. Um, Ebay, thanks for running a bit. Also, I can bring this back. Bring back all of them. Very good meme. I made this. Uh, Mr. Villaman, thanks for three years. Enjoy your Oki. 
Just got back from Germany a few days ago. Happy I get to catch a stream so soon. Hope you had a great time. Germany's a cool country. I got I went to Germany uh, it was part of my big the uh, Europe trip I went on after high school. Um but I really enjoyed what I saw. It was fun. Uh Smash Bandits for 96 bits. The robbers had knives as opposed to guns, because it's Japanifornia. You sure do. Is it obvious where there's so many memes? Oh, 100 percent 100 percent Keep smiling till the end. Eight towns, thanks for 21 months. Phoenix right, more like Phoenix stupid. Got him. Bread Slinger, thanks for three years. Enjoy your Oki. Uh, and Zena Owl, thanks for five months. Momentido, cool cat. Thank you. Squeaks, thanks for 69 bits. Did you think you were free? Cave, thanks for 69 bits. Game pitch idea. Larry gets hired to work security at Fazbear Pizza. Problem solved. That's the plot of those games, right? Squeaks, thanks for 69 bits. I'm as happy that Adrian's doing well as I am upset that Larry's doing okay. Camerson, thanks for soup. Very well-timed soup at that. Squeaks, thanks for 69 bits. Remember when Larry was serving hot dogs? He was underqualified for that. Yeah. He's somehow doing what he's doing. Is this like the 11th case Phoenix has been on? Something like that. I don't know if there's cases that have happened that aren't parts of the game. Like, early in his career, you're very clearly playing every single case. But I feel like at this point, there's been some gaps in time. And they still do a kind of conversations of like, you know, we've just been cleaning the toilet here for a while. Like, <laughs> he doesn't have much to do. So, I don't know. Maybe he's doing another stuff. Um, it's going great, though. Uh, Azamaji, after this information was revealed, Larry was fired out of a cannon. That's good. Thank you. Smash my next for 900 bits. At least this time around, Adrian likes to deal with the, the accidentally breaking pottery and not dealing with your mentors. Suicide to horrible men and your dependency issues. Yeah, she's... It's, it's fun to see a character come back and be like, oh no, I messed up, but it's like, not nearly to the same degree. It's not nearly as intense as it was. There you got flanderized. Yeah, he did. Anyway. He doesn't get paid well. Yeah. Smart case payment. I mean, I kind of would assume, but. Not just humorous. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Adrian messing up. She's like, oh no, oops, I stumbled. Oh, the paint. Oh, the shards. Oh no. The last time we saw her was just like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> she has to have ordinary problems. I'm happy for her. Thank you for the end of stream hype trade. Uh, Jubal the Lion, thanks for two months. Enjoy your bronze key. Thanks for the prime. Did you know if you have prime, you can get, you can you can get barista if you want it for a couple like a week, however long it takes me to get through this game. Um, and I'll probably drop him on beat TV. I'm really happy with how he turned out the emo emo of him. It's just a little scribble. Uh, Jubal the Lion, thanks for the prime. Thor Stone, thanks for gifting a sub to Mad Dr. Walsh for their second month of Jerry Bronski. Soul Sasquatch, 27 months. Chat, don't forget to go listen to that Banjo Kazooie Nirvana album. Thanks for the reminder. Lane Babe, thanks for 46 months. Hi, VOD watching me here. Oh, hope you enjoyed the VOD. And Quabla, thanks for gifting a sub to Wylers. Thank you. Trains for dramatic coffee, man. Choo choo. Get yourself a coffee. Do it for Godot. It's what he would want. So, anyway, um, uh, let's go throw some baristas at someone who is, who is streaming? Who is having, a lot of people are streaming. Think about you, hams. That's the lyrics, right? Hams, near hams. Do, 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 um, let's go raid Michelle. I was lurking in Gam's stream yesterday and she raided Gam. So this almost feels like paying it forward in a weird roundabout. She's raided us before. Michelle's great. She's a voice actor. Uh, perhaps most famously the voice of Jesse in Pokemon. Does a lot of stuff. Streams, really cool chill time. Right now she's streaming Hellblade. Send you a sacrifice. Hi, werewolf. Did you, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Chat's gonna explode again when I'm in this view, but there's that and there's. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was wild. Thank you, Marl. Bar Cash. Hmm. They're very good. Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, go go throw some some baristas over. Go watch some some Hellblade. I never played Hellblade. I heard good things though. Let's see him. Fishing for bar cash. Do we do Alpha Costas's poll? Yeah, I think so. Which poll was that? Let's see. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate y'all hanging. Uh, have a good start to your week and etc. Sloating. Yeah, we did that. We did that poll. It was a beautiful thing. Anyway, uh, goodbye. If you don't have, uh, uh, if you're not subbed, then, I don't know, throw Dino Dance. That's a good, good globaling mode. Thanks for hanging. Goodbye. Have a good one. Goodbye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Shoo. Bye, watchers. That's me. I'm really enjoying this game, though. It's great. I'm having a lot of fun. Hope you're having fun, too, whether or not you've seen this game before. Hope you're having fun. This, I'm mad about that still. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment your favorite. Just pretend I did some really good engagement bait here and I was like, here's a question that you should answer in the chat. Do whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part or not. Goodbye. Gotta go.